How's everybody doing tonight? I am anxious to get started. It's going to get comfy, get settled in. It's going to be a late night tonight. It's going to be a late one. We have got a lot on the agenda. I'll put it this way, I can't call Loverboy until about uh, 11, 11.30. So we've got four hours to kill till we get to him. But we, we, got, we got plenty to do until then. Plenty to do until then. Oh my god, we got some stuff going on here. We got Lisa Marie dropping the sub bomb for nine months. Thank you, Lisa. I know Dad's Law. I know. Thank you, Lisa Marie. Thank you, Cookie, for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. Dr. Emily. Hey. How you doing? 10 months sub bomb. Thank you so much. Nick Rufy, thank you for the follow. Too much candy. Coming in with the eight month sub. And uh oh, chat. We got a streaker. We got a streaker. Shaitan. Shaitan is on a 10 stream streak. Shaitan, put your pants back on. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Look at all y'all. Look at everybody out there. Let's see the docs in chat. Let's see them. Oh, I got to go back up to the top. We'll see you all here. Perfect Fosters coming in with the eight month bomb. Thank you, Fosters. Great with a hundred biddies. Thank you. Great. Appreciate you. Let's see who's here. Ginger's here. KG. Lisa Marie. George. Do 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 do. Katie. The Ripper. KG. Lady Akuno. Dad's Law. Jazzy. Hello. Do do do. Ivan. Do, 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 do. Lady Akuno, I think I got that one. We got Cookie Edgeman, hello. Clayton, good to see you. Better late than never. Terry. Zoe, how you doing? Stephanie, I think Stephanie said she was making some dinner. Perfect Fosters is here. Deej. Tyler's Variety, what's up, Tyler? Chris is in the house. Make a roofie. Ruffy, Rufy, I feel bad saying Rufy. Lacey, hello. Andy, good to see ya. Do do do. Auntie M. Bipolar Rat. Do do do. Oh, we're getting caught up. We're getting caught up. Dad's Law. I think we got that one. Too much candy. Two left shoes is here. Creative Kate Martell. Almost there. Each and everything. Lassa. Is Nick here? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. If Nick's here, we're quitting. Ah, oh, there he is. I quit. I'm done. Look at that hype train. All right, all right, all right. BSD guy. Good to see you. If he called me a jerk around your stream open watching him sign off. He needs a timeout if you ask me. Oh my God. We got another streaker. Here we go again with the streakers. 
What did we do this for like an hour yesterday of streakers? Snowdro. Seven stream streak. Nobody wants to wear their pants around here. Or not yesterday, Friday. No, not Friday. Wednesday. Ah, I got my days all mixed up. People are all gonna catch a cold. Defiant, good to see ya. I, I have to start out the stream with a shameless plug because I spent all day working on this yesterday and I finally got it set up. G-Force, hello. T-Gun, oh my God. Here we go again. <sighs> Deej, 40 stream streak. Oh my God. Oh my God. 40 stream streak. That's the biggest one I've seen yet. Thank you, Deej. Appreciate you. I know you got some 35s right on your heels though. So I know Jam and Bowl are getting close to that. All right, Deej, put your pants on. Yes, the new merch. I moved the store over to fourth wall and we have a whole bunch of new merch. Tons of new merch. But what's cool about fourth wall, you can go on to something and you can gift it to Twitch chat down here. If you gift something to Twitch chat, it automatically runs a giveaway. Tyler, a hundred biddies. Thank you, Tyler. Appreciate you, my man. Oh, what a hype train. Thank you for all the support, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I was thinking we might test this out. Maybe we'll give something away right away, huh? What should we do? What should we give away? Oh my God. Air Fuego, hello. Another streaker. Another streaker. I'm twitching bad. 10 stream streak. Oh my God. What are we going to give away? What are we going to give away? There's too many choices. Air Fuego. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. All right, put your pants back on, Twitch in bed. Let's start out with something simple. Where'd my army sticker go? And when you win the gift, it's absolutely free. You don't pay for anything. Whoever purchases pays the shipping at Henley. Clayton! Clayton dropping the nine month bomb. Yo! Thank you, Clayton. Appreciate ya. Fun guy is here. Yo, the tie-dye hoodies are fire. I'm gonna get me one of these. And they're embroidered. They're embroidered. They're not just printed on, they're embroidered. Fun guy. My man. Hello, Charlie. We got a magnet. We got a. Got 
so good okay i got to uh cover this up hold on one second All right, so I think what's gonna happen here is after I gift it, you're gonna have three minutes to enter the giveaway. I think it's exclamation point enter when it starts, but I'm not sure, we're gonna find out. Payment is being processed. Here we go, there it is. Exclamation point enter to win. Nope, winner doesn't pay anything. And then in three minutes, it'll automatically draw the winner. Oh, hello. I love this. I love this. You can give shit away from the merch store. How cool. Is it worldwide? Yes, it does ship uh, internationally. to North Korea mm, not sure about that one. Oh my god mother duck mother duck 25 stream streak holy hell 25 for mother duck appreciate you. Oh, we got a raid. We got a raid. Oh, I got to wait five seconds. Welcome Raiders. Hey, Raiders, exclamation point enter. We're doing a giveaway right now. Exclamation point enter. Why will it not? Negative 10 seconds to do a shout out. Come on, Twitch. Negative 15 seconds to do a shout out now. Negative 27 seconds to do a shout out. It won't let me shout you out, crazy bags. All right, we're going to do it the old fashioned way. There we go. All right, streakers, you can sit down. Mother Duck, put your pants back on. Oh, my God. Oh, do we have a lot to do tonight? So if you've been following, uh, there it went. If you've been following, um, Michael Peterson has been calling again today. Even after we blew his load yesterday. Pun intended. Uh, the cooldown was already done, Jam. It was counting down past the cooldown. Edgeman won the sticker. Yo! All right, Edgeman, you got to go to the uh, link there to redeem it. Congratulations, Edgeman. Well done, Edgman. Well done. Oh, quitters never win. Quitters never win. Um, so we got Michael Heckerson is uh is uh back in the game. 
And you remember the guy we called yesterday and left the, the 15, no, 16 voicemails too? He called me today at least 50 times. I'm, I'm not even joking. About every minute of the day he called me today. From 8 a.m. all the way. He took a break at 2 o'clock. He stopped calling at 2 o'clock. But from 8 a.m. to 2 o'clock, he literally called me about every minute of the day. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Bramble! 69 biddies! Thank you, Bramble. Appreciate ya. That was David Williams. That was David Williams who called obsessively. And he left me. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen voicemails. Can you push the claim link to whispers by chance? Oh, no, it does it out in the open. I'm guessing um, you, might, you might have to link your Twitch account or something, but it gets to the right person, Junior. Yes, 19 voicemails. Yep, zero dollars and zero cents. Edgeman got it. Awesome. Uh, David Williams is the scammer who keeps calling. Missouri Scott, hello. Good to see you. Um, I think I'm starting to get sick today. My body feels, you know, when you're starting to get sick and your body just feels off. The pinned message does not show the link to the new store. Yeah, it does. Shows it for me. Otherwise, you can do exclamation point merch and the link's in there, too. Yeah, and a little achy, really blah, kind of tired, just dragging butt all day. Yeah. So I think I'm getting sick. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. BSD guy, I didn't fix that one. Hold on. Hold on, I didn't fix that one. Shit. That's the, that's the old shop. Ah. I thought I fixed that. All right. Commands. Merch. Merch, merch, merch. Yep, I didn't fix that one. Okay, now it's updated. Let me check it. There we go. Now it's up. Let me make sure I update on my socials. Yep, it updated on socials. Okay.
Hello, Duke. Um, a little boss just had a cold. So I'm guessing I'm coming down with the cold he had. That, that'd be my guess. I have a feeling I will know for sure tomorrow. Oh my God, Biggie Dubs. A hundred Australian biddies. Thank you, Big Dubs. Appreciate ya. My man. Turtle Mommy, hello. Oh, yeah, they bring everything home from school. Angelic! Hello! Oh, my goodness. Angelic is in the house. Maka Waka, good to see you. I love me when some Angelic is here. Stackable nut. What's up? So let's get to, let, let's get started. I know this is early. Usually we chit chat for like another 20 minutes or so, but we have got a lot of voicemails to listen to. Hey, Kate, have a good night. We're gonna we're gonna go through all of David Williams' messages first. And then we're gonna call Michael Peterson. Um and after because because I don't think we're gonna go very long with Michael Peterson. I think I'm just gonna just gonna reveal to him. I think I'm just gonna reveal to him. We've gotten three mules out of that guy. Um he, and he keeps trying to do the same thing over and over again. He's going to try to send me back to Walmart tonight to do another money transfer. Um, so I think we're just going to reveal to him. Then we'll move on to David Williams. And then, oh, uh oh, the star of the show wants, wants some, uh, wants some uh, screen time here. Oh, check it out, by the way. I got my uh, Archero sign hanging behind me. Hi, pretty girl. She loves the weekends because she gets to make cuddle time. Little boss is at his mom's. Yeah. 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 Hey, Moles. Hello, hello. Are you being shy? Come here. Yeah, we got new bags of treats today, didn't we? Yes, we got new treats today. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Speaking of David Williams. Speaking of David Williams. pretty face for huh all right let's get a doggy a treat here 
You guys can admire the sign. See how many times he calls. Let's see how many times he's going to call. All right, let's kill the music. Never mind, the music killed itself. Thank you. Perfect timing. First message from David, 8.45 a.m. Is this going to play through browser or music? Hello, Gladys. Good morning. Okay. It's David. David Williams with the Publishers Clearinghouse. Please get a call. It's very important. I got your messages as well. And I was out of the office yesterday, so I couldn't reply. All right. So please give a call ASAP. Thanks and bye. I'm here trying to call you. All right. You need to turn up the ringer on your phone that you can know when your phone is ringing. Am I blurry? No, it looks good here. All right, then he left two of them with no transcript, and then another one here, 9.45 a.m. Hello, Gladys. Good morning. It's David Williams from Publishers Clearinghouse giving you a call, so if you could, please answer your phone. Thanks and bye. All right, 10 a.m. Hi, Gladys. Good morning. It's David Williams calling, all right? I'm here informing you that we do have... Uh, the delivery schedule, so we need to contact you that we can go ahead and get certain procedure taken care of. All right, 11.05 a.m. Hello, Gladys, this is David. I'm trying to give you a call. Are you home? Please let me know. I'll send you several calls and messages waiting for a reply and had got no reply. Thanks and bye. All right, 11.09 and 11.21, no transcript. Whoa, three minutes with no transcript? Hold on, what is this? Nina, hello. Hello, Sarah. What do you want? Is there anything else in here? All right, enough of that one. What a dumbass. Okay. Oh, one oh eight PM. Hello. Hi, good day. This is David. I've tried to call you so many times, but probably you're busy at the church or something. But you need to check the ringer on your phone to find out what's going on. Turn up the volume on your phone. You're ringing the volume to let your phone know when it's ringing. This is David and I try to get a hold of you several times. Please call me. Thanks and bye. Did anybody hear the rooster? Did anybody hear the rooster? Sarah, Sarah, do you want out? Hold on, Sarah's crying about something. Hold on. Come on.
Hey, Lisa Pisa. Hello. All right. Back to David Williams. 140, no transcript. All right. So then he took a break. Now we get to 5.01 p.m. Hello, Gladys. It's David Williams calling you back. I don't know what time you're on in your state, but that uh, I've been trying to call you and can't get a hold of you. But uh, I still have been trying to call you several times. All right. I've called you a lot for more, but I'm still trying to get a hold of you. All right. Okay. Moving on. Oh, this was all Thursday. These were Thursday's messages. I I stand corrected. These were Thursday's messages. Okay, then Thursday, 8.27 p.m. Hello, Gladys. Hey, what's it's up, David Art? David Williams trying to call you. If you're home, gave a call now. I'm here. All right, then we get to today. No, no, I'm sorry. There was one more last night, 9.12 p.m. Hello, Gladys. It's David. I tried to call you the whole day. Can't get a hold of you. Don't know what's wrong. Don't know what's wrong. Okay, now we get to, now we get to Friday, 6.06 a.m. Hello, good morning. This is David Williams calling for Gladys, so please give a call back. Thanks and bye. And we got 6.42 a.m., no transcript. 8.31 a.m. Hello, Gladys. It's David. I've been trying to call you every day, and I still can't get a hold of you. I don't know what's wrong. You called me the one day, and I've been trying to call you how many days? Now and how many hours and can't get a hold of I call you in the day, I call you in the night, there's still not an answer. I don't know what job you do, but you've been very busy. Oh, we're not done yet. 12.19 p.m., no transcript. 12.39 p.m. today. Hello, this is David. Please give a call, it's very important. I'm trying to call you to make a delivery today, can't get a hold of And last but not least, 12.41 p.m. Hello, Gladys. You need to give a call. It's David Williams with Publishers Clearing House calling about your delivery. So please make it possible to call me back. Oh, God. Careless Whisper, hello. Viper's good to see you. <laughs> Wow, David, David wants a piece of Gladys. Oh, David wants a piece of Gladys. That man has been calling me all darn day. Oh, my stars. Can't a lady get a little bit of peace and quiet around here? My goodness. Speak of the devil. He just calls and calls and calls and calls and calls. Yo, 99. What's up, dude? How's it going, brother? How you doing? Microsoft is in the house. Oh. Oh, 8.16 p.m., no transcript available. What's he called three or four times now since we started the stream? Give a dot. Hello. Thumb, good to see you. 
Is Peterson the new lover? No, no, he's not. He's uh, he is one of the um, um, I have never had a scammer try for so many different pieces of information, so many different ways to hack into an account. I mean, right down to trying to get the security codes off of Gladys's phone for, for through Google. It was wild. It was wild. And he's still not done yet. He only called a couple times today and left one voicemail, but there was no 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 transcript. He didn't really say anything. Um So uh yeah. Yeah, he is, he's dangerous. He is downright dangerous because he will not stop until he gets something. He will not stop. And he doesn't care what it is. Debit card, credit card, bank account, money, Zelle, um, Google account, Gmail access. Um, he wanted to know about my 401k. What am I missing? There was, there's been more. What else? What am I missing? Um. so much so much passwords i'm surprised on em i'm surprised he never tried to get me into the password manager on my phone yo ray dog yo two gifties ray dog golf clap Yeah, he got the social security number. He wanted a picture of the social security card. He took a picture of, he wanted a picture, I guess, sent him a picture of the license, uh, Gladys's driver's license. He is going for everything. So let's give him a call, shall we? Yeah, he wanted screenshot. He wanted pictures of my bank account. Yep. Oh my God. Just as I'm ready to get started. Here we go again. Here we go again. Vipers. 20. Stream streak. Another streaker. Oh, my Lord. Ray Dog, I don't know if you meant to cheer 100, but it didn't come through. That was weird. But if there were 100 biddies there, thank you. Maybe it could just be my activity feed that's not activitying thank you thank you vipers thank you for the streak put your pants back on patrick confronted him twice twice all right all right, keep your pants off. You're going to catch a cold. I'm telling you, you're going to catch a genital cold. Those are the worst ones to get. <laughs> Don't let them hatch. I hate when my nuts cough and sneeze. Oh, my Lord. All right. Anybody else want to run around naked before we get started? Anybody else?
Look at all you degens. Oh my god. You gambleaholics, you streakaholics. Uh, what have we done? What have we done, chat? What have we done? What have I created? I can't stop it. It's out of control. Lisa Pisa, you know that's a lie. You know that's a lie. Lisa Pisa, you need to time yourself out for saying that. All right. Let's call our good friend Michael Peterson. Text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, Mr. Peckerson, this is Gladys. Uh, I, I saw a Mr. Call this morning. Uh, I was just wondering how you're doing, if, if you're ready to deliver my prize yet. Uh, I'm still waiting on that prize, so uh, if you could please give me a call back, sweetheart. It would be greatly appreciated, okay? All right. God bless. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Well, well, well. Mr. Peckerwood didn't answer his phone. Is Gladys inspired from anyone? No, it just kind of, uh, it just kind of happened. It just kind of happened. Uh, Edgeman won the giveaway. <laughs> Tell him to turn on his ringer and volume up. Oh my god, I'm gonna call David and be like, I didn't have my ringer up on my phone. Oh my stars. You should have told me. Oh, Bramble, we have a Gladys emote now. Where's it at? There it is. Yes, ma'am. Thought I had another new one. I guess I don't. Oh, that's right. I was going to work on the Oh My Stars one. I just never got around to it. I just feel bad, though, because Fiasco's already got and oh my stars, uh, I know my stars emote. I'm gonna do a different one though. I wanna do an animated one. 
Well, I didn't want to get to David Williams this early, but we might have to. We missed some other uh, phone calls and messages from some other scammers as well, so. We, uh, I think we got plenty to call. And we got fresh stuff in the backside. We got Jake's number in the backside now. If you've been watching Dex, you know all about Jake. All right, baby. Let's chat, shall we? The party you are trying to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Williams, this is Gladys. Um, I see I missed your call about 15 minutes ago. Uh, I'm sorry, I was taking a poo-poo. Um, I, I was just trying to call you back. Um, why don't you give me a call? I'll be watching for your call tonight, okay? Please give me a call, okay? All right. Turn your ringer up on your phone, okay? All right, bye-bye. You had a little turdlet just dangling there. I had to go take care of that. This is the, this is the, uh, this is the international sign for dangling. Well, Mr. Raxon was busy all day today. Apparently, he couldn't make it. I question that, Mr. Raxon. I don't think his heart is in it. All right, David, answer your phone. The party you are trying to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, David, this is Gladys. I, I was just checking to see if you turned your ringer up on your phone yet, uh, so, so you can hear it when I call, okay? Oh, excuse me, I got a little gassy tonight. Uh, if you could just call me, baby, that would be wonderful, all right? All right, I'll watch for your call. Bye-bye. God bless. Oh my god, PC guy. PC guy, 14 month bomb, bro. Thank you, my dude.
Well, let's dip into the rest of the voicemail, shall we? We got Mr. Todd Sloan. Do I have this number saved? 6160. Oh, I do. This is one that we tried weeks ago. And he never got back to us. And we called him back last night. Or not last night. Wednesday night. There he is. Yeah, February 22nd, he called and left us a message. Yo, Rave, hello, hello. Hello, this is Mr. Todd Sloan returning your call about your $17 million and your brand new Mercedes Benz car. So if you are interested in receiving your prize, you could reach me at five. Oh, thank you. 15 more seconds of voicemail. What do you got going on here, Todd? Nothing? Complete silence? And done. All right, so 17 million and a Mercedes. He called at 8.16 a.m. Thursday morning, so he might not be one of the night crew. But, but, JP, hello. We're going to give it a shot anyway. Christina, na 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 Hello. No, you haven't missed much, JP. Um, basically, we just went through, um, we did a giveaway. You did miss a giveaway. And then uh, we went through a bunch of voicemails from David Williams. Chit-chatted for a little bit. Had some Mountain Dew. Um, that's about it. Really, that's about it. The party you are trying to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Sloan, this is Gladys. Uh, I received your message yesterday about uh, my winnings. Uh, it was like a, a $17 million and it far. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely interested in claiming my prize. Uh, I definitely could use that money now, about now. Uh, times have been hard ever since Harold died. Uh, I sure do miss him, but uh, if you could please call me back at your earliest convenience. I'm a little easier to reach in the evenings. Uh, I'm busy volunteering at the church during the day, so uh, give me a call. My phone number is... Thank you so much, sir, and you have a blessed day now. Come on, scammers. Come on. Then we got an unknown number. Bill Green. Hello? 
flame number. Okay. Where's this one come from? I can't even call this number. Just seeing if I can spot it in the backside real quick. This might be a fresh one. Is it in this list? No, we're calling this one a fresh one. All right, I'm going to post this really quick. Do, 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 do. All right, let me put it in the spreadsheet. What do you say, Mega Millions? Mega Millions. Seven point nine seven point nine million? Is this real? Hold on. Yes, hello, pleasant, good evening. You're speaking with Bill Green, calling you from the Mega Million sweepstakes where you receive an automated call close to a week ago about you winning yourself a second place prize of seven point nine million dollars in a brand new car. Your claim number is one zero three nine two five nine nine zero one could you give me a call back so we can move forward again two four eight thank you bye bye god bless name number seven point nine million what an odd number Still pretty good though for second place. Moisty. What's up, dude? All right, got him saved. Let's party. I'm doing all right, Moisty. How's you? How's you doing this evening? Bless your heart. I have not called JD yet, but I see his number in the backside. The party you are trying to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Green, this is Gladys. Uh, I received your voicemail yesterday uh, from the Mega Millions uh, about a, a prize, uh, a second place prize. Um, I, I received a claim number. Uh, that's 103 925 nine nine zero one 
Um, if, if you could please give me a call back, sweetheart, that would be amazing. I, I would look, I would, I would love to, to speak with you about this, okay? Uh, I'm a little easier to reach in the evenings, but, uh, but you can sure try, all right? And thank you so much, and you have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Then we got another call. No message. That moisty gentleman, he just has the nicest hair. I don't know how he does that, but it is just fantastic. Oh, my stars. Aquanet. Hey, Aquanet is good shit. All right, this number called yesterday evening at 8.15. So there is a chance they might be a night, uh, night owl. The party you are trying to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Uh, this is Gladys Thatcher. Um, I see I missed your call uh, yesterday evening and uh, I just wanted to give you a call back and see what this is all about. Um, I've, I've been expecting a very important call uh, about some sweepstakes winnings and uh, I'm just wondering if that was you trying to reach me. So. Uh, please give me a call back when you can, all right? Uh, I look forward to it, sweetheart. Okay, bye-bye. Brave! The Rave with the 50 biddies! Thank you, Rave. Appreciate ya. Still says I got... Oh, shit. Who are these? Oh, we missed one from, wait. Wait, this is another number for David Williams? No shot. Hello, Gladys, good morning. It's David Williams calling you on both of my numbers. And I've been calling you to have the delivery sent to your house this morning. Can't get a hold of you. Please, if you can, please pick up your phone and try to call back while we're here. Thanks and bye. Baby boy's got two numbers. Thank you, Moisty. I'm hungry, Moisty. Uh, I'll take some of whatever you're making. Save me a plate.
Magic Jack customer you have called is unavailable to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Mr. Williams, this is Gladys. Uh, I just noticed your other number here, and uh, I wanted to give you a try over here just in case uh, your other phone wasn't ringing. Uh, please give me a call back, okay? It's, it's very important that we chit-chat. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you, sweetheart. Bye-bye. God bless. KFC chicken pot pie. KFC has chicken pot pies. Ooh. I might be interested in that. Any luck with Christopher Ray? You know what? Uh Microsoft, I have not gotten back to him yet. Let's try him. The party you are trying to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Ray, this is Gladys Hatcher. Um, I got your text messages yesterday morning. I apologize. I, I've been so busy hiding out. I don't want to be arrested, okay, sweetheart? Uh, you'll never find me. Um, I have some good hiding places. But if you could please give me a call back. I would love to get this finalized with you, and and then uh, we can get that arrest warrant settled, okay? All right, darling. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye-bye. Dick Pills, Lloyd Kenneth Jr., don't remember that one. Oh, the Sanchez and Riviera, folks. Who's this number? Oh my god, this guy's been trying hard. Any news on Twitch partner? One denial down. Yo, speaking of that, Lacey, thank you for the gifty. Yes, yes, thank you so much, Lacey, appreciate you. And Superfluous coming through with the hundred biddies. Thank you, Superfluous. Uh, they have denied my first, uh, first application. But, uh, we're not, we're not giving up. We're not giving up. Text me when I can call you. Did you receive my email? It looks like you are neither interested in knowing the truth nor receiving your legitimate unclaimed scammed victim compensation funds. Do you realize you've been dealing with scammers for long? They are only extorting your hard-earned money. Well, I am surprised that you are not responding to my messages. We are trying to get your card sent out and also recover your package from O'Hare, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I had some shepherd's pie um, earlier this week, Vipers. I love shepherd's pie. Follow bots, Nick. We don't have any bots in here. Jam stays on top of the bots. Yeah, Shepherd's Pie is really good. <laughs> you know you're dealing with scammers as I try to scam you? 
the best pies, pasties, and sausage rolls. Charlie. Charlie, in America, pasties are those things that you put on your on your on your nipples. Just just to cover your nipples up. Hello, butterfly. Hello, hello. Sometimes they have tassels on them. So basically what Charlie is saying is that she wears pasties. Pictures, Charlie, or it didn't happen. Maduka, I sent you an email yesterday about your Visa card. We have registered the card at DHL to dispatch to your home address. Are you alive? Are you alive? Well, at last check, Gladys was still alive. Let's save it here. Yes. Come on, come on, update. There we go.
Well, let me check the emails. Which one is it? Albert Scott, UN Diplomat, UN Diplomat, Ken Wilson Apollo. Oh, here it is. Dear Gladys Hatcher, I sent you a text message. This is to let you know your card has been registered at DHL for onward delivery to your address. I'm waiting to hear from you. I received the address and phone number through Scott Rivera. Oh, so they're working with the other guys. Yo. No shot. I was told you were going to send $689, which will cover the DHL sending fee, that and insurance costs. The ATM card remains at DHL as it's been registered and only waiting for payment to be dispatched. Kindly reconfirm your current and correct address. Yo, Archeros! Hey, dude, check this out. Limey the legend in the house. Oh, chat. 
I forgot to tell you. Um, we were doing some homework last night, and Limey did a little more digging today. Dr. CB's brother, the gentleman that uh, Loverboy was trying to hook Gladys up with to, uh, to uh, get the, uh, the herbal medicine. Yeah, he's dead. He was a preacher, and he's dead. But somehow he's been emailing Gladys to get $1,549. Hello, Cybater. Good to see you. Yeah. So, uh, we're, we're pretty much 100% proof positive that Loverboy was trying to scam Gladys that way as well. Either that, or they have email in the afterlife. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pool shark. Pool shark on a three stream streak. Good Lord. Everybody's just streaking all night. I tell you what. It's all fun games. Till somebody gets an eye poked out. Mm -hmm. Now you know why I wear glasses. Now you know why I wear glasses. All right, pull shark. Put your pants on. Bond, hello. God, everybody's sneaking in on me. Uh, let me see what I got for notes on this one. Cody Sanchez and Deborah Holland. Oh, okay. Oh, this was the fantastic lady. All right, folks. Buckle your seat belts, put your tray tables upright. We're leaving Africa and going to Jamaica. One, six. Is not available. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Okay. Hello, Mr. Sanchez. I just tried calling you and there was no answer. It said that your mailbox was full. <clears throat> um, I apologize. I have been very busy this week and haven't been able to get back in touch. Please call me 
at your earliest, earliest, earliest convenience. Oh my god. Dumb scammers. This is Patrick Coda. I need to receive my funds. Have you sent your information to my email? No, I need to talk to you on the phone first. What do you mean? Well, what does it sound like? What do you mean you need to talk to me on the phone? What is this phone you speak of? All right, chat. You're going to earn your frequent flyer miles tonight. We're going back to Africa. What's the name of Dr. CB's son? Oh. What's the name of Dr. CB's son? Is he and Gladys? They would never tell me their name, Fosters. I asked them for their name. All they told me was, fuck you, you're going to die from your cancer. Verbatim. I wonder if I can show the emails without giving away the, uh... Let's see here. Does this show the... Address when I pull it up. Yeah, it's got addresses in there. However, oh no, it still has addresses in there. If I cover that one up. Eh, oh well. That's what he said. He claimed to be worth $501 million and that they worked in the United States for 15 years in a, at a bank in California. I called them out on that because they're not a U.S. citizen and the longest a non-citizen can work under a work visa is six years if they get it extended. They didn't like that. And I told him, if you were worth 500, and we couldn't find any information on the internet about this brother. So I told him, if you were worth $501 million, there'd be something about you on the internet. But there's not. Come to find out today, the brother is dead. I emailed them on that, Limey. They have not replied yet. Yeah, he's got to be. Loverboy has to be in on it. Has to be in on it. There's just no other way. 
There's just no other way. Yo, Ray Dog, a hundred and one bitties. Thank you, Ray Dog. Appreciate you. Yeah, Junior. We 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 looked at everything. Oh my God! Look at this one. Slinging schlong. Slinging schlong, the name of all names. Three streams to reek. Oh my God. All right, schlong, put your pants back on. We in okay, we're in Africa. Let's call Mr. Coda. Snoid. person you're calling is unavailable. Hang up now or hold to be transferred to voicemail. To leave a message, please press 8 and wait for the beep. Hello, sir. This is Gladys Hatcher. Um, I apologize. It's been a long time since we've been texting, but uh, I, I certainly am still interested in claiming my funds. Um, I, I really need to talk to you on the phone. Um, I'm not very good with the emails, so if you could please call me back. My number is... Thank you so much, and you have a blessed day. I don't have this guy in my notes. I don't know exactly what his game is. I have to go try to find it in the backside. Oh, let me see if Sarah wants back in. Hold on. Oh my god. Ray Dog. Yo. Ray Dog. Two more gifties. Thank you, Ray Dog. Appreciate you. Killing it, Ray Dog. Killing it. Okay. 
I think we're going to go into the backside and we're going to call Jake. I want to get on Jake's radar. That's Dear Joe. Is it in, in uh, advanced fee? Richard Tony, Jamie Damone. Dusty Joe. As a measure to settle all the outstanding debt owed to genuine beneficiaries like you in the first quarter 2024, you are advised to contact Bank of America for your fund, 18.5 million USD, and address your mail to Mr. Michael D. White. You can also contact him on WhatsApp. Send your banking details ID to them. Thanks. Mr. Peter Bankola. Wait, that's not Bestie Joe. Did I read the wrong one? I just saw it. Where'd it go? Oh, I read the wrong one. We urgently need your banking details to transfer your fund. Kindly send it with a copy of your ID with your telephone number. Note that you will be paid by MT100 SWIFT transfer, bank-to-bank -bank transfer. We look forward to hear from you. Branch Manager, Commercial Bank of New York. Yours in service. Well, we might get around to calling some advanced fees tonight. We have about um, a little less than two hours, then we can call Lover Boy. Gonna drop the bomb on him about uh, Dr. CB's dead brother. But let's call Jake. All right, chat. Here we go. Get back on the plane. We're going back to Jamaica. Um, hold on. We're going to call Peckerwood one more time. Text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, Mr. Peterson, this is Gladys again. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to reach you, sweetheart. I think we got some unfinished business to take care of, and, uh, I, I certainly want to get my hands on that prize. Uh, that would be wonderful, so, uh, give me a call back when you can. You take care now, okay? God bless. Bye-bye. And we'll try Mr. Williams one more time, too. And then we'll call Jake.
party you are trying to reach is unavailable, please leave a message and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Williams, this is Gladys again. Uh, I was just checking to see if, uh, if, if maybe your phone was back on now. I, I know you, uh, you've been trying to reach me and, uh, I've been trying to reach you, so why don't we, uh, why don't we hook up and we'll chit-chat, okay? Okay, darling, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Give me a call. Turn, turn your ringer on. Okay. Bye-bye. God bless. All right, now we'll get to Jake. It might be one of those nights, chat. I have faith in Loverboy, though. I do have faith in Loverboy. I told him to expect my call, and he said he would watch for it. So. What is that emote, Annie? Oh, it's Fun Guy. Oh, it's a heart. It's so tiny you can't see it. Okay, Jake. Is it gonna ring? Please leave a message for one nine. Hi, good evening. This is Gladys Hatcher. I was just returning a message I got from this number. Um, she didn't mention something about winning a prize. Um, uh, sweetheart, I'm not sure what that's all about, but I sure would appreciate it if you could give me a call back, okay? Uh, my phone number is... Thank you so much, and you have a blessed day now. Friday nights can be tough. Friday nights can be tough. Yeah, you almost, ironically, you have a better chance on Saturday night than you do on Friday night, which uh, you think it'd be the other way around. But oh my God, Ray Dog, yo. And Schlong! Ray Dog with the two gift bomb. Oh my god, Ray Dog. Thank you. Oh, Labia got one. We got Labia and Slinging Schlong. Wow, we are de 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 fucking degenerates, aren't we? That is awesome. And Schlong with a hundred biddies. Thank you, Schlong. Appreciate ya. And we got a hype train. Choo choo, baby. Choo choo. And we got a streaker. We got a streaker. Ray Dog with the three stream streak. Oh my God, Lacey. Good Lord. Lacey dropping the two month bomb. Sheesh. Thank you, Lacey. Appreciate ya. Appreciate ya. Oh, my lord. All right, Ray Dog, put your pants on. You're gonna poke an eye out with that thing. Ooh, level two already. Choo choo, baby. Choo choo.
Oh, Johnny Beckford. Oh my God, this guy. I forgot about this one. Hey, Nick, have a good night. We shall see you on the flip side. Okay, Johnny Beckford from the Consumer Protection Bureau. Ooh, this is the one I've been wanting to hear. I want to know what this scam is. I mean, obviously, he's going to want gift cards or some shit like that, but I want to hear how they spin this one. I want to hear how they spin this. Oh. Just gonna hang it up, huh? Just gonna hang it up. Hello. Uh -huh. and my name's Gladys Hatcher. I'm trying to reach Johnny Beckford from the Consumer Protection Bureau. You have the wrong number. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Well, did they give up on their? They even fucking messaged me. No, I messaged them. They must have given up. Well, let me take him off my list here. Oh, my Lord. Passion tea. Agent Passion tea. Eight biddies. Thank you, Agent. Appreciate ya. Let's freaking go. Oh my god, I'm cold. Um, bum, 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 bum. Whoa! Hold on. Hold on. Ginger. Ginger. A thousand biddies. Holy moly. Thank you, Ginger Witch. You rock my socks. We up, we up to level. Oh, just, just got it at the end of the hype train. Thank you for another wicked hype train. Yeah, buddy. Choo-choo, baby. Choo-choo. Oh, whatever happened to these two? Oh, I got this in the wrong spot.
I forgot there was a number that Bull sent me. I forgot all about Randy Coleman. And I think... I think I have an SSA scam number in my email. We have not called an SSA scam in a hot minute. Good day. You reach the voicemail box of the PCH Prize Patrol. Please leave a valid email address your name and your confirmation number for security purposes, and a PCH Prize Patrol agent will be in touch with you shortly. Thanks for making it PCH. Have a marvelous day. This is Gladys Hatcher. I was just returning a message I got from this number. It had mentioned something about winning a prize. Uh, I, I'm not sure what that's all about, but I sure would appreciate it if you could give me a call back at your earliest convenience. Thank you so much now, and you have a blessed day. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me find that SSA scam. I think Tyler had tried calling it, and they didn't want to talk to him. Well, let's throw some Gladys at him. SSA right here. If they'll leave an answer at this time of night, I believe this was, if I recall, it sounded like this one was out of India. Maybe. You're getting a bunch of SSA ones, Bond? Oh, send those over. I miss the SSA scams. I miss those. All right, let's see if they'll answer. That number is down. You got to hit those quick. Those go down so fast. Yo, Jojo. Hey, yo. How are you doing, Jojo? Welcome, Raiders. How was the stream, Jojo? Were you, uh, were you goat simming it tonight? Glad to have y'all. Glad to have y'all. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the D-Gen shift. She was making Siraj. Oh, and Sims?
I saw Siraj in Tyler's tonight. I thought maybe he'd uh thought maybe he'd drop in and stay high, but one of these days, one of these days. He did renew his sub before the stream started. Okay. We got about an hour, hour and a half. Before we call, it's telling me I'm missing two voicemails. Where are they? Oh, who's this? Mark Jacobs? How did I miss this one? Mr. Mark Jacob, the claims attorney. Yes, this is Mr. Mark Jacob, and I'm a claims attorney over here at the Publishers Clearing House. Uh, Mrs. Hatcher, uh, please give us a call back at our office, 888 extension 1, to speak to me, Mr. Mark Jacobs, on to claiming your $5,000 per week for life. Your awards await you. Please give us a call back as soon as you got this message. Thank you. I think we can get a hold of this one. I'm going to put him in the books. I'm going to make this one a fresh one. Uh, 5K per week for life. All right, we're staying in Jamaica, chat. In Jamaica? In Jamaica. In Jamaica. The Law Office of Mark Jacobs Corporations. We are lottery lawyers focusing on assisting lottery winners with drafting up legal documents to protect your assets and claims. Our offices are open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Friday. Please enter the extension of the office you're trying to reach. To speak with a representative, press 1. To leave us a message, press 0. And we will get back. Person at extension 1001 is not available. Record your message at the tone, press any key or stop talking to end the recording. Hi, Mr. Jacob. This is Gladys Hatcher. Uh, I missed your message uh, earlier this week, and I, I sure do apologize. Um, I, I would like to talk to you about planning my $5,000 per week for life. Um, I, I'm I sure could put that money to good use uh, these days uh, with my medical bills piling up and everything. So uh, please give me a call back. Uh, it's been a while. My phone number is... Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you. All right, we have officially cleared all the missed calls, all the voicemails, and all the text messages. We're all caught up, chat. Oh my God, I didn't think I'd ever get there.
Um, yes, actually. There were a couple, not much. He hasn't been saying much. From Loverboy, let's see here. Let's go, let's look at his text. Um, Thursday, 2.30 in the morning, he messages me. I was asleep when you called. He also called me twice at 2.30 in the morning. Hello, 3.14 a.m. Hi, 7.19 a.m. I'm going to call you this evening. I need you, this is what I said today. I need you to answer the phone when I call. You called me back at 2.30 a.m. and I was asleep. You need to be more considerate of the time zones when you call me. I will be waiting for your call, but you know when you call me, I is my morning time. But like I said, I will wait for your call. It's like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. when I call you. That's not early in the morning. Normal people are awake at that time. Oh yeah, I will await your call. Bitches at me for not answering the phone at 2, 3 in the morning. But calling at 8 or 9 a.m. is, oh, how dare you. The humanity. I think he's very sus, that's all. I think he's getting tired of, of uh, playing the game because he hasn't gotten any money. No gift cards, no bank wire, um, no nothing. And then his Dr. CB um, scheme fell through the roof on him as well. So... I think he's getting pissed off that he's not getting any money. But if you notice, none of his messages anymore are, are sweetie, sweetheart, lover, darling, none of that anymore. The honeymoon phase is over. Is he cheating on you? He might, he better not be cheating on me, Ginger. Oh my God. <laughs> you haven't been putting out money. Oh my God. Maybe he found out about George Cox. Oh no. Maybe he found out. That Gladys was cheating on him. Oh, man. Yo, you missed the Dr. CB thing? Uh, Dad's Law, in a nutshell, um, through some research, we figured out... Okay, so he was posing as um, Dr. CB's brother and was going to send herbs and treatment and that kind of stuff. But guess what we found out? Dr. CB's brother is dead. He was a preacher, not a, not a healer. And he's dead. So somehow, he's been emailing Gladys from beyond, from beyond the grave, trying to get over $1,500 for treatment. Dr. CB is real, but he's dead too. Um, the only people carrying on Dr. C CB's legacy are his kids. And from what Limey found out, um, they're all kind of doing their own separate thing, but it's all based on Dr. CB's, um, treatments and stuff.
Hello, Squirts. Hello. Yeah, so either Loverboy was playing as CB, or maybe it was his brother or one of his friends. Something. But they were trying to scam Gladys as Dr. CB's brother. And that's why I want to talk to Loverboy tonight, because I want to tell him this. I want to be like, uh, my lawyer found out that Dr. CB's brother is dead. So who exactly did you hook me up with? Limey did, Limey did some intense digging. I'm, I am, I am, uh, amazed at the, at the info Limey pulled up. What's this voicemail? Oh, Thursday, 2.34 in the morning. Oh, listen to this, chat. I missed this one. Of course, because it was 2.30 in the morning, but... Hello, how you doing? Sweet aunt. Um, hope you're doing fine. I just, uh, I saw a missed call on your voice note right now. I missed your call, so... Hope you're all right. Yeah, text me when you, can, when you have time. Good night. He did say, sweetheart. He did say, sweetheart. Yeah, then he called 2.25 a.m., 2.25 a.m., 2.26 a.m. He did say it. In, yeah, he did used to say it in text messages, too. Yep. Well, I guess we can make some more pre-calls. Um, I think we'll call a little bit of a mix. We'll call some advance fee... And we'll call some PCH. The fees is just only $50. And you will receive your ATM card from the British High Commission. Because as soon as you contact the office and charges of your ATM card, we will alert the United States Bureau the United State Bureau, and in conjunction with your state police, for the ATM card to be delivered to you without any restriction and problem when the ATM card get to you in your location area. You are free to contact me with this phone number through text SMS. We are here to fight against crimes and fraudulent acts. Yours in service, Mr. Richard Tony. There's a file report of scam against you and other British, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, and Australia. The countries of Nigeria, Benin Republic, Burkina Faso, and Ghana have recompensed you following the meeting held with the four countries' governments and the various countries' high commission for the fraudulent activities carried out by the four countries' citizens.
Okay. One, one Mountain Dew. Oh, oh, oh. If you drink two, then that's considered a doo doo. <laughs> all right, all right. I gotta get my drum, my uh, drum roll sound back. You guys got some zingers. Where is it? Where is it? Saved in backups. Secondary stream related sounds. Where is my rim? Rim shot. Oh, uh, we found it. Kiki! Hello. Kiki, I'm not going to lie. You haven't missed much. All right, let me put the rim shot on the... Shit, I should have left that window open. I need the stream deck button. We put it on my stream deck. Where do I have it? What in the hell? Stream graphics? No, that was for 300. Oh, I hope this is actually transparent. I oh, nope, it's a JPEG. That's a WebP. I can work with that one. Soundboard images. Is this what I want? Yeah. All right. We'll put it right to here.
Okay, let's test. All right, who thinks they got a funny joke? Let's test it. Who's got a funny one? Got to be rim rim shot worthy. Not to be confused with rim job. What's a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Mm. What's pink and fluffy? Did I hear free rim jobs? Um, no. Uh, DJ got a maybe got a little wax build up. Anything dumb I say? There we go, Clayton. Or blueberry. Why does the Easter Bunny hide eggs? He doesn't want anyone to know he's a chicken fucker. Okay, Lisa Marie, I'll I'll, I'll let you I'll let you um, see yourself out the door. Um, Like in a hit, like, like in a hit, like in, like shit. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Mr. Richard Tony. So this is a scam victim compensation, right? Yeah. Of the British High Commission. leave your message. Hi, my name is Gladys Hatcher. Uh, I'm trying to reach Mr. Richard Tony from the, the British High Commission. I received an email, um, and, and it was quite concerning um, that I was the victim of uh, fraud and, and scams against me from, uh, from some African uh, citizens. Um, I, I certainly would like to claim, um, my, my commission or, or my payment, uh, on the ATM card. Uh, I wasn't sure what all you wanted. It was quite a long email and, uh, I'm not very good with the emails. So if you could please call me back, darling, I sure would appreciate it. Okay. All right. God bless.
Jamie DeMond, United States Commissioner of the IRS. There's a lot of people texting you all day saying that they have a fund delivering from you claiming to be FedEx, DHL, FBI, CIA, IRS, UPS, USPS, and all others. I want to let you know that no money can be delivered, no matter how much you paid or not, until you sign an agreement with IRS to pay taxes fee on your fund delivered, and you won't be questioned at all by the authorities on how you got such amount of money. Send your home address for the agreement signing so that you can receive your funds after this. We look forward to hearing from you. The total amount of your fund worth 40.5 million USD from the Biden-Harris administration, the White House. Signing the agreement, Jamie DeMon, Commissioner of IRS. Well, that's an interesting take on it. You can't get any money from the other scammers until you pay us to release the scam money. Jamie Dimon. Dimon? 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 We could not complete your call. Please try again. Whoop, that one's down. From Office of the Western Union Money Transfer, Florida, United of State of America. They can't even get the damn name of the country right? Come on, scammers. Florida, United of State of America. Put a little effort into it. Just a, just a smidgen of effort into it. All right, mobile phone. What's the name? Harry Paul? Is that it? I didn't really say a name, but it's got it in the email address. Attention beneficiary. Labia, hello. You did get a gift sub today. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Yes, how are you? Oh, hello, sir. My name is Gladys Hatcher. Uh, I received an email from you um, about uh, some, some funds I need to have released into my name. Is that right? Yes, yes. 
um, we are planning to be sending you 5,000 daily um, uh, as much in a decrement of 50 US dollars. Um, so you said you're going to send me how much? You'll be receiving 6,000 US dollars every day until your total money of 1.6 is finally transferred to you. Oh, okay. Um, and, and how do I get these funds? You will be receiving from Western Union. We will be giving you empty send number. You go to Western Union and pick it. Oh, okay. So it comes through the Western Union. Okay. Well, yeah. oh, wow. Why, why don't we get this set up? I would like to start receiving my money. Hello, come again. I would like to start receiving my money, so uh, why, why don't we get this set up? That's why I just say that I will be giving you MTC number for 6000 every day. Okay. Let's, let's do that. Yes. So, meanwhile, have you bought the item card? The what card? I mean, have you bought the item card? The gift card of fifty US dollars. No, oh, there's a. I need to get a card. It didn't say anything about getting a card. I have my debit card. Will that work? Okay. Okay, please hurry up and buy the gift card and send it so that we can proceed immediately. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, iTunes card. Okay. Okay. Don't you say goodbye, sweetheart? I got I got a ton of them, Limey. Appreciate it though. Well, let's see if he's gonna text or what he's gonna do. He wants a receipt. Um, I don't know if he's gonna ask for it. To be honest. He is difficult to understand. Woo wee! He's got that very wide voice. It's David! It's David Williams! Yo, we got him! Hello, this is Gladys. Hello? I can't hear anything, sweetheart. Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you now, <clears throat> yeah. How are you doing, Ms. Gladys? Good to hear you. I'm glad I got a contact with you. I was just out of the room for just 30 minutes. I went upstairs oh. and I just got back, saw the missed call. Oh, well, that's why doesn't right. your phone ring? I've called you over 300 times. Oh, I know, darling. My phone is old and it's a piece of junk and sometimes it just dies no, on no, me and I don't even no, know that's it. Not and... why. The problem that's... with the phone is uh, the, the phone is either on silence. If your phone is on silence, it will not ring. It will only, if you're not looking on the screen, you ain't going to see it's ringing. So you need to get the oh. phone turned off. You need to oh, take it off goodness. silence and put it on the ringer. Oh my goodness, I will have to figure, I will have to look into that. I, I didn't know you could make them silent. Yes, it's probably on silence, so you need to get it be uh, ringing. It's either ringing or vibrating. Did you turn up the volume on your phone? Yes, I, I turned it up uh, um, a little bit, so I, I don't know if that fixed the problem or not, but it, it did ring here when when you just called me, so... 
Well, you need to turn up the and it will ring as loud as as possible you can hear. Oh, but anyway, okay. uh, we had a certified check where it should be delivered for you at three point five million dollars. Also with five hundred thousand in cash, and we also have a weekly fifty thousand dollars you should be receiving for your prize from the publisher's clearing house. So you're being selected, and therefore we're here towards uh, getting this be sent over to you as ASAP. So I'm wondering, will tomorrow be qualified for you? Oh my stars, that is a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, I could. Uh, let's see, tomorrow is Saturday, and let's see, Sunday is the Lord's Day. Um, yeah, I think I could, I could, I could, uh, make it work tomorrow. All right, and, and, uh, what state are you in at the time? I am in the state of Missouri. Right, you're in Union, Missouri, because, uh, I was taught in, uh, are you on Standard Time or you're Eastern Standard Time? I am, I am in Jefferson City, Missouri, and I am on Central Time. Oh, okay, great. Well, according and also we have a mercy it is that you should be receiving. Uh, at the moment of the time, I'm going to ask you just a few questions. Uh, are you married, single, without divorced? I'm widowed. Not a problem. Are you a homeowner? Yes, I do own my own home. <laughs> okay, and do you have a business, any shares, or any investments? Um, I, I do not own a business anymore. I am retired. Uh, but I do have my, uh, my late husband Harold's 401k account, yeah. I didn't hear you. Could you repeat that? I, I am retired, sweetheart. Uh, my late husband Harold, he had a 401k account before he passed. And I was the beneficiary, so I, I have the 401k account now. Wonderful. All right, and, uh, do you drive? I do. I, I don't drive very fast or very far, but, but I do still get out and about, yeah. Okay, and do you have a bank of your choice? Uh, I bank at the Bank of America. Wonderful. And how long have you banked in there? Oh, goodness. Uh, let's see. It's been at least 20 years now. It's been quite some time. Not a problem. And are you a credit card holder? Uh, yes, I do have one credit card. I do. I don't use it that much. I I try to pay cash for everything and not run my debts up really high. Wonderful. All right, so therefore, the car into our delivery, we have to fill out your files and everything. So we'll be making a delivery there in which our company has already ascertained necessary 99% of your taxes which there will be a 1% of taxes towards IRS, which goes for your necessary beneficiary of your $3.5 million, along with a weekly $50,000 for five months, in which that will be also with a brand new automobile that will be a Mercedes, which you'll be receiving. Along also, we do have the delivery to be carried out in which we have covered 99% of your taxes, and there will be a 1% taxes for your shipping and handling procedures, getting your vehicle be towed to your house, and also be providing your delivery. And also, we'll be having delivery circums, uh, which we have private deliveries, public deliveries, which will be advertised in the television as well. But many persons like the delivery private, so we do not know how you'll be accommodating your delivery. Would it be private or public? Uh, well, what's, what's a public delivery? I, I guess I don't understand. The public is like we normally get a television station, video camera guys, and we advertise you on a television. Oh, oh no, I don't want all that. I don't want all that attention. So I, I guess we should you do the one private the one. Private. Yeah, Correct. yeah. Sorry, therefore, we will go ahead tomorrow. Once it's okay, you can go toward your process to ascertain your one percent in taxes. We can go ahead and make sure we fill out your your uh, forms to make sure the delivery has been presentation with a time schedule. Also, we'll be providing you like a package number and a briefcase number, which will be attached with your delivery. So if it's okay with you having your process filled out tomorrow, ascertaining your one percent in taxes, 
that will be fine. We call your one person did taxes. It's been documentation on your docket, and we have been trying to contact you several days. And I noticed I've been in back in front in the meetings, which it takes me some time not to be around my phone, in which that's the time you call. So I was very disappointed to know you called so much time, and I did not get a hold of you. No, I, I apologize, sweetheart. I know in your um, 300 times and, and 200 messages you left me, you um, you did mention it was very urgent. Sure. So I, I wanted to uh, try sure. my darndest to get a hold of you. Yeah. Um, I, I did have a question. Sure. The um, the 1% taxes, is that on the $3.5 million? Yeah, that is correct. Okay, so that's about $35,000 then. Okay. That's correct. So once that is beneficiary for you to ascertain tomorrow, we should be possible to have this delivery be carried out. Okay, that's a that's a lot of money in and of itself. Uh, how do I do? I just contact the IRS then. Uh, I can I can call them tomorrow and can get that squared away. Well, well, normally that will be squared away by ascertaining the company because the company has surety all the necessary taxes. Because we're the one that necessarily take care of the 99 percentage, which that would have to be filed under the company, which will be facilitated with the remaining taxes towards the IRS. Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay. That, that, yeah, that would be easier, I guess, if, if you guys handled it. Um, Harold always took care of the finances. Yeah, uh, we're, the one, we're the one that normally handles it. So once to the procedures, we ascertain a certain percentage in which the one percentage would work down to that document where you actually recognize in which sometimes many of our agents, they're not possible to take care of all of it at the time. So we don't know if the full amount will be possible for you or there will be a percentage amount which you'll be capable of coming up with until you receive your delivery. So we normally gave the procedures. Once the ascertainment of your one percentage tax needs to be taken care of, if it's not possible ascertaining the full amount, we normally will let you take care of the remaining amount of what is possible. Oh, okay, yeah. To do to do the full amount, I would have to transfer some out of my savings into my checking. Um, um, but, right. Uh, yeah. Well, you can um, take your time. You can take your time because normally what we do, we actually if it's okay for you to do it at the one time, that will be great for you. Or normally we would actually put you like on a payment plan, if that's fine with you. Oh, okay, a payment plan. Well, yeah, that sounds like a, a better idea. Why don't we do that? Yes. So therefore tomorrow we'll be documentation everything to make sure you do receive your paperwork as well with the delivery. Call your documentation will be as assigned with your T-190 form. And also a pink slip. Do you know what's called a T one ninety form or a pink slip? T one ninety pink slip. Uh, I'm I'm not familiar with those. Okay. Well, those forms will be assigned for your assemble towards your claims that you do receive. Oh, okay. Where do I get those forms? Those will be once the delivery team gets there, they will be providing you the forms and the documentation to show you of your prize and everything, what you do receive, and you will sign towards what you receive. Oh, okay. They'll bring the forms. Okay. Well, this sounds easy enough, sweetheart. I, I like this. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So we, I don't know what will be the best time to reach you in the morning call. We will normally schedule deliveries to be there at least 12.30 to 1 o'clock. So we try to get everything squared up before that time to make sure you're back home, to make sure we could get everything very fine. Well, I uh, have uh, two doctor's appointments tomorrow morning. Uh, there's one at 8.30 and another one at 10.45. So I, I might not be available till around the noon hour. 12 o'clock. Yeah. Right, so normally uh, ascertaining towards your necessary uh, percentage uh, taxes, would you be able to like make it out like a cashier's check from your bank? Uh, yeah, I could, I could get down to my bank and get a cashier's check. Uh, yeah, that's possible. 
I could swing there between the right. between the two appointments. Okay. All right. So what you'd have to do is to give me a call first thing in the morning. I'll be in my office by the latest uh, eight thirty to nine o'clock. So you normally could have me a call first thing in the morning. All right. Okay. I can sure try. Yes, and I'll be looking forward to hear from you, or I'll be calling you, so make sure you look towards my call, and you do have your phone handy in your hand that we can go ahead and get things straight away, all right? Okay, that sounds lovely, darling. Uh, tomorrow will be your day, and today was supposed to be your day, but I called you the whole day, and I couldn't get a chance to get everything verified up, so that's the reason why we got delayed for you today, else you would be happy to this, this afternoon. Yeah, I apologize. I was at the church most of uh, the day today. Uh, we had a we had a special service and a, a prayer memorial, and then we wanted to do a bake sale, and uh, it was just a busy day all around. I totally understand, and I really feel glad I got a hold off you because I put out the necessary effort trying to get a hold off you, and I was just so concerned. Because I got your messages and I was just so uh, unqualified in myself to know that you left those messages and I couldn't get a hold of you. Oh, well, I appreciate that. You are the sweetest, darling. I'm I'm so glad we got a hold of each other. Uh, you sound like such a nice young man. Yes, Mr. Patterson. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, so I'll be looking to hear from you first thing in the morning, and therefore I can have you the details, which you can get a check be made out and have it be registered mail, and we can take it from there to get the guys over there to you, all right? Okay, that sounds good. All right, so I'll be waiting to hear from you in the morning, or I'll be calling you, all right? Okay. So before you I leave, will. you can have me call and let me know. All okay. right. So I'll you have a great afternoon, more. and you be good. Go ahead. Oh, yes, I will have a wonderful afternoon, and you do the same, okay? Yes, wonderful, and i got to go hold off you, and the Lord bless you, and you be safe until the morning, all right? Amen. God bless you, sir. You too. All right, bye-bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Have a good afternoon, everybody. Have a wonderful afternoon. He wasn't as pushy as I thought he was going to be. I love how he admitted, though. I called you like 300 times. Yeah, literally. Yeah, you did. Well, we got another one on the hook. Oh my God, chat. I'm getting hungry again. I think it might be Wendy's chili night. Yeah, he's really sharp. No fuck around now, right, Clayton? He did push the, uh... You gotta turn up the ringer on your phone. Turn up, I know what the problem is. Turn up the ringer on your phone. I tried to tell him, I go, well, my, my phone is old and it dies on me. No, that's not the problem. Oh, okay. What's the problem? Um, Mr. iTunes card guy, do not get a hold of me. Was he expecting me to just go out and get an iTunes card? It's 7.30. A little early to call Loverboy yet. 
Maybe see your grandchildren Patrick's kids all day. Uh, he didn't really seem to care too much what the uh, the reason was. It seems like uh, his eyes is, are all on the prize. He's a fast talker. Has anybody else had David Williams? can't remember where I got the number from, but I swear I got this from somebody. Oh my God, going through my email. Albert Scott Rivera, United Nations Organization Identification Card. United Nations Representative for Africa on Finance and Security. United Nations Medical Department. The UN Office on Drugs and Crimes, Terrorism Prevention, and Strengths and Challenges. Which is it, Albert? Oh my god, they've got a personalized domain. Is there a website with this? No. The signature doesn't even match the name. Oh, it doesn't it? I didn't even look. It doesn't. You're so right, Christina. The signature doesn't even come close to matching the name. Looks like it starts with a J. And here's an S. That's pretty good. Let's um let's do let's do this. Can I how do I get this? Why can't I download it? Let's do a reverse image search, shall we? Bingo. Right there. Found it. What is this forum?
No shot. Yo, we found a new resource. They're all, f these are all fraudulent scammer emails. No shot. Microsoft, are you here? Telephone. See if any of these got phone numbers on them. Oh, I hear a puppy. I hear a puppy. Let me uh, mark this. Come here. Got to get in the camera. And you've been sleeping so nicely. Yeah. Yes, you have. Did you have a bad dream? Were you having a bad dream? Hmm. You don't want to look at the camera tonight? You don't want to look at the camera tonight? Oh, pretty girl, sleepy girl, sleepy girl, sleepy girl. She does not want to look towards the camera tonight. Yeah, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. I move the camera just a little bit. Will it stay? Nope. What do you want? I don't know if she was having a bad dream or what, but she woke up like a, uh, she sprung to action. Do you need a treat? Is that what you want as a treat? Yeah. Oh, that thing looks so cool. I can never rebrand now. I have the coolest, like, insignia and shit now. I know. Didn't that sign sweet? Got it at Walmart. What are the odds that Walmart would carry an HCH sign that looked just like my logo? Huh? What are the odds? Oh, no. If anybody's wondering, Arteros did that amazing work right there. <laughs> I recommend looking him up if you need any. Uh... He'll do pet pics. Um, he doesn't do people, so he won't do, like, portraits or anything. But 
uh game gaming uh characters how thick is it it's about with both of them together it's about uh about an inch and a half And it's mine. It's all mine. You got to go outside? All right. There we go. All right. Violet's got to go outside. One second, chat. Do, 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 do. Nita, Nita's here. Hello, Nita. Good to see you. You haven't missed a whole hell of a lot, Nita, to be honest. Uh, we talked to uh, David Williams, PCH scammer, a little bit. 
Um, got him set up for tomorrow. Uh, Michael Peterson. Let's call Michael Peterson back. I'm determined to talk to him again. Oh, we got Loverboy on deck chat. And it's about time to start the prediction, too. Text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, Mr. Peckerson, this is Gladys again. Uh, I just wanted to try you again here before I, uh, before I flick the bean and go to bed. Uh, I was hoping we could chat again and try to get this all settled. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting my prize, okay? All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. And we jam, huh? Hmm. Okay. Said I will find my way. Cause I can go that distance. If I'll be there someday, if I can be strong, I know every man will be world wide. Cause I will go most anywhere to find where I belong. No. Did you get that? Baby, that was beautiful. Whoever boy, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you wanted to jam. You you wanted to jam, so be careful what you ask for. Yo, TV Hatch TV, let's kick it. Bait and listen. Bowl is here like the next sensation. Faders grab a hold of us daily. Calling on the scammers, fierce and braily. Will it ever stop? Oh, I don't know. YouTube, the VODs, a great show. We like to stream, making voice like Dayo. Get the IP, hack and break up a scandal. Scams, call centers that boom. I'm killing your scam with fun guys chat room. Deadly. 
go to Spitz a dope melody. PayPal Norton fake is a felony. Like it or sub it, you better follow anyway. Better hit bullseye, streamers don't play. If there was a number, yo, we'll call it. Check out the horns while Hatch revolves it. Gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Now that the chat is jumping, hype train kicked in and emotes are pumping. Quit to the point, these scammers are faking. Cookie and Hatch have PCA shaking, calling them. Their script is so simple. Want to squeeze them like a juicy pimple and to top that voice changer lady? It's time to roll, these guys are so shady. Trolling like Fiesto, Windows version 10.0. These scammers on standby waiting just to say hi. Did you call? No, I just text by Boda. Calling up the next scam. Car with blood and cocaine by the gram. That call was dead, yo. Sent a parcel by UPS. Pretend Avenue. Avenue. Scammers were hot wearing less than bikinis. PCH winners promised Lamborghinis. Jealous? Because I'm out streaming mine. Jiggy got a mule and Moisty on the line. Ready for ventures on the call. Scammers act as us as they play with their balls. Mug shots spring out of New Delhi. It's about damn time these guys are so smelly. Calling on the Google real fast. Picked up a headset, but the script was trash. Fumbled all the English like a really bad soundtrack. I'm trying to connect before the scammer gets back. Any desk on the screen, you know what I mean? They give up as I confronted all the scam feeds. If there was a number, yo, we'll call it. Check out the horns while Hatch revolves. Gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Vanilla. Take heat, cause I'm an improv poet. Blue update screen so the scammer won't show it. Our plan, they kicked ass and made a bull sound. I'd have to shake and kick holes on the ground, cause my style's like a happy meal. Unbelievable bass that you can vision and feel. Concocted to format this OBS concept. Hatch makes it hype and you wanna chat with us. Art throws on the shades. Barbie the ninja, Dex in the Everglades. Gordo, other streamers say, damn. If Santa's voice is drug, I'd sell it by the gram. Like a movie, Artifice is first class. Gale, Bob, Chappie, and we're kicking ass. If there was a number, yo, we'll call it. Check out the horns while Hatch revolves it. Gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Vanilla gift cards, baby. Vanilla. Boom. Let's get out of here. More scams to uncover. Greenback.cards to go. To go. Walmart Target to go. To go. Apple Google to go. CVS Walgreens. I was muted. Can you get a track on iTunes? We can't, we can't, um, distribute it or anything. Yeah. Um, Cookie, are you still here? Did we lose Cookie? Oh my god, my voice. Son of a... Jam's not here. Where's Jam? Usually he tells me when I leave my voice changer on. Jam is fired. Fired. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, you know, Lady Akuno, I got, I'm not going to touch that one with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> but it was very rude of him. Oh, Bestie Joe's number doesn't work. All right, let's call a few uh, <clears throat> PCHers here. Oh, I know. That's what's going to happen, Lacey. Either that or like 15 minutes after I end the stream, uh, my dialer will blow up. Literally. Oh, hey, look what I got here. I was telling you you are waiting. This is the this was the guy we talked to a few minutes ago that had the really heavy accent with the really with the really deep voice, baby. Oh yeah. Oh. I thought you were talking about sending me an ATM card. You have a very heavy accent. Are you from Boston? Maybe we'll have some uh, some text message fun, shall we? Yo, Jeffro, what's up? There's Cookie. I was going to play something if Cookie was still here. Headphone warning. Pay bills with daily and pay okay, bills you with Okay, you see the third option. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? First Click on the third option. First option. Click on the pay third. The pay third. Bill the regular. third. No! Click on the third option that says pay bills with Zelly. Pay bills with Zelly. 
Do I put whole bag? Do I put whole bag? Darling, don't change the fucking name. You're going to send it to Lee Delhaine. Lee Delhaine. Can you hear me? Lee What's an iTunes card? Yeah, that's a classic right there. That's a classic. Oh my God, Cookie. Have you ever seen my hoe bag sticker? Somebody put up the hoe bag sticker should be free. Somebody put up the hoe bag sticker. I don't think I, I don't think I charged any for, uh, there's no bits on the hoe bag sticker.
Oh, is it one bit? All right, never mind. I'll do it. Do I have any bits? I don't think I do. There it is. Ho bag. I wish they had dark mode on this fucking Google Voice, damn it. Turtles, hello, hello. All right, chat. We're getting close to lover boy time. It's like 10 after 8 there. Mike, welcome, welcome. Microsoft, hey, I found a site you might want to look into. EMD on the backside, Microsoft. Okay, let's do the prediction. Twenty minutes. Prediction is up, ladies and gentlemen. You may have to refresh to see it. Oh, okay, cool. No worries. Ooh, look at the nose they're coming through tonight. Ooh. If I recall, the last time we talked to him, it was a no. Yeah, it was a no because we had one person put down 30 points. No, that was if that person was going to call back. Never mind. That was a different prediction. Buy iTunes gift card. What is an I... 
Neptune's gift card. They don't speak English. Oh, Limey, I got an idea for a new card you could make. I got an idea. A spoofed iTunes card. It's got like an I on it, and then it says Tunes over the top of it. iTunes. You don't know iTunes gift card? Sweetheart, I'm a 70 year old woman. No, I don't know what an iTunes card is. They just assume everybody in America knows what an iTunes card is. Oh, the no's are jumping ahead of the yeses this time. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, I caught that one, Vipers. That was a good one. I don't want to believe we had dedicated gift card shops in Australia. Now that you mentioned that, I'm, I'm kind of surprised there isn't like some little gift card store. Just gift cards. Only, only cards. Bent peckers on only cards.
Are you going to help me or not? Come on, lazy scammer. Uh, let me find. Mary Paul, there we go. It's against the law to withhold money that is rightfully mine. If you don't help me, I will have to report you to the FBI and the, um, <clears throat> and the NBA and the NFL. The, uh, the National Banking Association and the National Funds um, the national funds, um, law, law, the national funds law. Hello, Blue. Hello, hello. Itchy Snatch in the house. Okay. We now have an Itchy Snatch and a Slinging Schlong. I love this job. And a labia. What a community. Who, who wants to change their name to Clint Torres? It's blocked.
Come on, scammer. You're killing my buzz. Just go to Apple Shop and tell them you want to buy gift card. Can't even spell Apple right. Okay, I will go to Applebee's shop and get gift card right now. Oh, who called? I just, it didn't even ring. How do I have a missed call? Who the hell is, who is this? Who is this? It's a 516, it's gotta be PCH. Hello? Hello, this is Gladys. Yes, this is Randy Coleman from the publisher Clearing House. How are you doing? Oh, Randy, it is so nice to hear from you. I, I am doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing fine. Sorry to call you so late, but I'm just here running through some paperwork here for you to have you notify that you are the first place winner of $18.5 million, 50000 in cash, and a 2023 Mercedes-Benz R should be delivered to you tomorrow morning at 10.30. I want to say to you congratulations. Will you be at your home tomorrow morning, 10.30? Oh my goodness. Are you, are you serious? Oh, there's yes. no way. Oh my goodness. Yes, what you hearing today, this is no joke or this is no hope here, my winner. This is not one of your friends or your family member calling you today to run a prank call and you try to waste your time or try to pull their leg. This is for real, okay? Oh, my stars. I can't believe it. This is a blessing from God. Oh, this has never happened to yeah. me before. Oh, my goodness. This is a blessing. This is a blessing from God. And I hope you put your blessing to good use. I hope you don't squander your money out. I hope you spend your money wisely here today, okay? Oh, absolutely. I'm going to donate some to the church, and I'm going to put my grandkids through college. And, oh, my goodness, this is, this is just that so will be, special. That will, be, that, will be, that will be special, and that will be lovely because... I'm 65 years old. I'm a man of God. I'm a man of my word. So when he said you are doing a donation to the ch to the church, that will be lovely and that will be grateful because if this was uh, the Lord, you will never get a call like this and you will never receive. Oh, that is so true, oh, sweetheart. My. Oh my goodness. It is so good to hear you're a man of the Lord. Uh -huh. Lord, is, God is good, is what I always say. Yes, God is good all the time, and God is good. And good people is good people. And God, no good people here. And this is a blessing for you. And I went from the first word I say to you, I could see that you are a god fewer person like, like how I do. All right? Amen. Amen, sir. Amen. 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 God bless you. I want to say to you, congratulations. And how was your night going before I called you? Well, it was it was kind of quiet. I was just sitting here, and uh, I'm working on a quilt. I'm knitting a quilt, and just just to kind of pass the time. And uh, I, I was watching some uh, some man on man action, 
and just a nice quiet evening at home. Yes, because our 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 consider if I should call you or I should call you tomorrow, but I was saying if it's too late, but I said no, I have I have to call you here to have you notified because you call me and you leave your vice message, but because I were in a meeting with the federal government yeah, well, so you, are, you sound like a good, hard-working gentleman, uh, and, and the Lord loves a hard-working man. Yes, yes. I, I've been working here in the past over 15 years now, and I go to church every Sunday. I'm a man of God. I'm a man of my word. I, I, I'm a minister, all right? So two things I hate in life is a liar and a thief. So I will never try to pull your legs here. And I will never try to break your jaw apart. Lion lip is abomination to the Lord. Am I right? That is right. That is right. They say uh, oh. the 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 good things come to the men and women of God. That's that's exactly right. And what I want to say to you: Do you still drive at this moment? I do. I do. <laughs> I don't drive very far, very fast these days, but I can get out and, and put around a little bit, yeah. Okay, you have your own transportation, right? Yes, I have a Buick Century. Okay, is this your cell phone or this is your home phone? This is my cellular phone. This is your cell phone. And this is the only phone you have. Do you have a home phone? I, I do still have a home phone. Yes, I do. Okay, and what I want to ask of you, my winner, is this the first time you have getting a call from our company to have you uh, notify that you are a winner here? Oh, yes. I have I have never gotten a call like this before. This is just, uh, this is just such a blessing. I don't even know what to say. Yes, this is a blessing. And how old are you today on your big day? Oh dear, I am 77 years old. My goodness, my, my, you sound pretty young. Keep her held up. You sound like you are 65 years old. Keep oh, her you... held up. It's a blessing here for you. You stop now. You are just too sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a lot of my agent told me that I sleep. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. It's a blessing to meet you. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Can you get yourself a clean sheet of paper for me? A good writing pen? So I could give you some classified information here towards your price? Okay, give me so one moment. Okay, take your time. Once you have it, you'll let me know. Okay, I got a pen and I got some paper. Okay, first thing first, you will be writing down, it's my name. Will you remember who you're speaking with? Mr. Will Randy. You remember your name? That's yeah. correct. My name is Randy Coleman. Okay, Coleman, all right. Okay, I got that written down. And my badge number, it's RC20200. Five seven PCH. That's my badge number. That's RC two O two zero zero five seven PCH. 
That's brilliant. All right. Next thing you will be writing down is the company name. That's Publisher Clearing House Sweet State and Lottery. The abbreviation for Publisher Clearing House is PCH. P C A. You know, I think I heard of them. Uh, they do all the magazines and stuff, don't they? Yes. Right, right. And you normally see our commercial on your television, righty? Yeah, I think I've seen that. Yeah. Right. Next thing you will be writing down is how much you have won yourself here today. You have won yourself here today a certified cashier check stamp and approved by Bank of America. The value is eighteen point five million US dollars. Eighteen point five million US dollars. It's coming over to you tomorrow, morning, 10.30. 18.5 million U.S. dollars. 18.5 million U.S. dollars. Okay, I got that routed down. And also, you will be receiving 50,000 in standing cash in a silver attachment briefcase. 50,000 in standing cash in a silver attachment briefcase. 50,000 oh in standing cash in a silver attachment briefcase. Is that United States dollar as well? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my stars. Okay, let me write that down. 50,000. Spending cash in a silver case. Okay, I wrote that down. And the zero number for that briefcase, I need you to write it down. No one should get a hold of that zero number. It is not oh. you. The zero oh. number for that briefcase, that is the 50,000 inside of it. That's six six zero two five nine. Okay, six six zero two five nine. That's correct. Next thing you will be writing down next thing you will be writing down it's first place winner and beside a first place winner you will put your first along with your last name. First place winner, and you will put your first along with your last name beside of it, all right? Okay, let me route down here. First place winner, and then my name is Miss Gladys Panther. Okay, okay, I got that routed down. And also, if something should happen to you today, who would like to be your main beneficiary on your sweepstake prize award? If something should happen to you, if in case, who would like oh. to be the main beneficiary? Uh, well, um, I would probably put my son, Patrick. Okay, you need to write his name down. Okay. Ben. Ben. Uh, Benefit. How do you spell beneficiary? Beneficiary. Yeah. You wanna you wanna know how you wanna know how to you wanna know how to spell ben, ben you wanna know how to spell beneficiary. Yeah, I don't know how to spell that word. That's a big word. Okay, that's B E N. Okay, B E N. E F I C. E F I C. I A R Y. 
R-A-R-Y. Well, I'll be darned. You got it right. All right. Beneficiary. And then Patrick. Beneficiary. Patrick. Okay, I got that written. Uh, excuse me, I got that routed down. Next thing you will be routing down, it's Mary Brown. Mary Brown, she is from Bank of America. You expected to meet her tomorrow. Mary Brown, you need to write her name down. That's Mary Brown. Mary Brown. B R. O W N Bank of America. All right, all right, I got that written down, sweetheart. Next thing you will be writing down, it's Paul Green. Paul Green, he is the one in charge of your 2023 Mercedes-Benz car that you will be receiving tomorrow also. You need to write that down. A 2023 Mercedes-Benz car you will be receiving tomorrow also. You need oh to write that down. Okay, 20, <clears throat> 2023 Mercedes Benz. One year insurance with all state. And one year insurance with all state, and that Paul Green. Okay, I got I got that right Coffee. down. Company toll-free number, if we got disconnected, you could call us back any given time. That's 51. Okay. Let me just make sure I... Okay. We have right, two go. type of delivery. You still get a chance, my winner, to you still get a chance to read back everything that you wrote down. Oh, okay. Next thing, next, we have two type of delivery here. We have a private delivery and we have a public delivery. Let I explain to you so you could understand. Private mean you. It will be you and the company confidential. No one will know about this. We will not put your business on the internet, on the television. It will be you and the company private and confidential. Public means everyone in your state along in your city will know about this. And also you will go in the daily newspaper and the television. Which deliver would you prefer, private or public? Oh, goodness. I, uh, I, I don't think I want all that attention. Uh, I live a nice, quiet life here. Uh, just me and my dog and my cat, so uh, I think maybe the private delivery would be more appropriate. Oh, yes, that will be more appropriate because, you know, money break friends here and money bring friends my winner. All right? And you know we don't need anyone to have their eyes on you, have you as a target, or try to be a stalker is on your back. So private will be much better for you. I think so also, all right? Okay, I agree. I think that would be much better. Right, right. And I expect you to keep your business private to yourself because I know you are a big elder lady. You know how to keep your business to yourself without telling no one that you have won the lottery. You just be humble and be normal. All right? No, I can't share this with anyone. No, well, you, I need for you to surprise, I need for you to surprise your son at this time until you have your money safely. All right? Remember, you need a private delivery, so I need for you to give them a big surprise here. Do you ever try to surprise your son before? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, one time I gave him a big reach around. It was such a surprise. Okay, I, I know what you mean. All right. <laughs> 
surprise. So you're going to give them a big surprise. You're not going to tell no one that you are a winner. It will be you and the company and God. Keep it in your belly, all right? Okay, I will keep it in my belly. Okay, that's good. I need for you to take your time and read back all the information, what you have on it. Also, next thing I need for you to write down is your one percentage of registration fee. Your one percentage of a registration fee, that is 3500 I need you to write it down. One percentage of registration fee. That is 3500 oh, Excuse me, sweetheart. Okay, 3500 that is your registration fee for you to get your price registered so your price could be legal for you to spend your money when you receive it. No one could say you're doing money laundry, you're doing drugs, or you're doing any fraud. When you take your check down to your bank tomorrow, they could see where your check is coming from. Because you know not everyone could take a check down to their bank value 18.5 million dollars. Not a question will be asked, plenty of answer will be needed. Am I right? Yeah, I definitely don't want to get this mixed up with my drug money. The the bank wouldn't like that. Pardon? I, I definitely don't want to get this mixed up with my drug money. The bank probably wouldn't like that very much. Right, right. So I need for you to get your price fully registered with the federal government and fully licensed. So when you receive your money, you're not supposed to be running around like a chicken without a head. No tax will be deducted from your money. It will be illegal in your money. So when you take your check down to your bank, they could see where it's coming from. All right? So that's All the right. reason why they have charged you this so that's the reason why they have charged you this, this 3500 for you to get your product fully registered in your state and under your name. All right? All right. Let me, let me write that down. No headless cock. Oh, okay. I got that written down. Pardon? Okay. I got, I got that written down. Okay. What you wrote down? No chicken with their head cut off. I didn't say that. I said, once you have your registration fee, fee paid, you're not able to run around like a chicken without a head. Your money will be legal for you to spend your money. No one could say you're doing money laundry or you're doing drugs or you're doing any fraud. Do you understand where I'm coming oh. from? Okay, they won't know that I'm doing drugs. Okay, I understand. Once you get your price registered, that is the 3500 Okay, all right, that makes more sense now. Okay, I understand. So do you wrote your registration fee down? I sure did. It's, uh... Three thousand five hundred, and that's one percent of registration fee. Right, which they have charged you for you to pay it under your name tomorrow. All right. 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 And how would you how would you like to pay the three thousand tomorrow? Would you like to get it in cash, or would you like to get it in check? Uh, well, uh, I mean, I could get a cashier's check tomorrow at the bank. Um, I do have some money set aside here at home in the safe. Um, so I could do either way. Would the, would the cash be easier for you? Yes, yeah, you, think you, you think you have that much money in the safe at home? Oh, yeah, I'm almost certain of it. We always keep around 10000 in the safe for emergency funds. Okay, that was, that's great. I normally, I, I normally keep 5000 for emergency. Yeah, you never know when you're going to need that money. It, uh, 
It's a good right. thing to have that you sound like a smart young man. Right, right. You are very smart also. Can I call you Miss Millionaire? Will that be offend you if I call you Miss Millionaire? Oh, goodness, sweetheart. You can call me anything you want at this point. You can call me mommy. You sound like my mom. You sound like oh, my mom. So I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you mom, all right? I'm oh. going to call you mom. Yeah, you oh. sound like my mom. You're a very nice lady. Oh, all right? that I is so sweet. Oh, goodness. You are something else, I tell you. Your mom raised a... Your mom raised a good man. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. I You're love welcome, you sir. so much. You're such a nice person. And my mom, I can't wait to see you. She gave you a big kiss on your cheek and a pat on your back and shake, shake, shake the life out of your hand. Oh, my goodness. Just shake, shake, shake. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> I'm not gonna shake. I'm not gonna shake the light. I'm just here to put a smile on your face, ma'am, and let you glue me like the flowers in your garden. All right? All right. All right. I I love you. You are a hoot, son. I love you also, mom. I can't wait to see you. So what you will be doing tomorrow? What you will be doing tomorrow? I'm um, doing you familiar with the UPS or the FedEx. Yeah, there's a, uh, well, we have the UPS and the FedEx, and then uh, uh, we have the Postal Service, the USPS as well, right down okay. the road. Okay, okay, okay. So what I need for you to do, do you have a, do you have a magazine at home, and do you have a tape at home, or a catalog? Uh, yeah, I, I have some duct tape, and uh, I don't... I don't know about magazines, but I have a couple old books laying around. Uh, I don't know. I, right. I don't you read them anymore. You could get one of the books that you, you're not going to read anymore. And do you have an envelope at home? Oh, uh, I would have to look. Uh, uh, I would have to look. I might have some boxes uh, or something uh, laying around. Okay. Can let me know if you have any envelope at home. All right, let me let me go check really quick, okay? Okay, take your time, please, mom. All I right, don't sweetheart. need for you to hit your little like John hit your knee. Take your time, mom, please. All right, son, I'll be right back, okay? All right, I'm here. Dun dun dun! I smell the mule. Oh, here we go. Update on Apple Apple Card guy. I know, Lacey, right? I feel so blessed to be a mom. I I've been a dad, but I've always wanted to be a mom. Okay, sweetheart. I got the Applebee's card for you. Uh, all right, son. Uh, I didn't find an envelope, but I got a, a little white box that I think would fit the the book just perfectly. Okay, okay. Um, what I may say to you, and um, I may say to you, I need for you now to got those 3500 so I could assist you to package it up and give you the address so you can have it mailed up tomorrow at the UPS to the federal government facility. Oh, okay. I got a mail that you're not going to pick it up when you come? No, you're going to have it mailed up tomorrow because we don't require to pay cash. And we don't require to take no personal information from you, such as any banking, any debit, or any credit. Once we make it there tomorrow, only thing we require to do is take picture of you like crazy, hand you your check, that is your $18.5 million, hand you your car key, and hand you your briefcase, and hand you your documents for your vehicle. 
a right and X card you don't to your bank of your choice to have your money lodged in your account. Oh, we don't okay. require to take no we don't require to take no personal information from you and we don't require you to take no cash mom, all right? Okay. All right. That sounds yeah. like a plan. Right. So what I what I'm gonna do, I need for you to drop the drop the thirty five hundred counts out and let me know once you do it. So I could assist you to have it packaged up in the book, leaf by leaf, and have it taped up. Okay. Go step by step. Step by step. All right. Let me go. Uh, let me go to the safe. It's a little buried in the in the closet. Let me get it out. Okay. Okay. Just take your time. Don't hit your knee. I'm here. Okay. Okay, let me uh let me count it out here. Yes, take your time. All right. So you don't One, make the mistake. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, there's one thousand, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's two thousand. All right, now one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, there's three thousand. All right, one, two, three. Four and five. Okay, one, two, three thousand and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, three thousand five hundred dollars. That's correct, ma'am. And what I may say to you, mom, what you're gonna do now, you're gonna put it in the book you have there, leaf by leaf. You're going to put like a 200, 200, 200, 200 leaf by leaf until it's finished. All right. Make no. sure, make sure once you finish, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to tape the four corner to make sure none don't sell out of the book. You're going to tape the four corner of the, the book. Once you put the money inside of the book, leaf by leaf, mom. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the book and tape the four corner. Okay. Once you finish, once you finish, put the money inside the book leaf by leaf. You're going to put like a 200, 300 leaf by leaf inside of it until it's finished. Once you okay. finish, put the money inside inside the book. You tape the four corner of the book, the four, the four edges. So none, none of the money don't sell out, all right? Okay, let me get the... Let me get the stuff in here. All right. There's Take your time. Once you show, you let me know. All right.
he's not asking for pictures, which is kind of nice. I mean, I, I have them. But it's kind of nice not having to go through all that bull crap. This is a pretty quick mule, I will say. How many mules is that in the past two or three streams now? Like five, four or five? Well, I mean, we got three from Peterson alone. Oh my God. We got another streaker. Streaker. Iceman, three stream streak, hell yeah, thank you Iceman, appreciate you, appreciate you, now put your pants back on, please put your pants back on. Save the pick of the taped box. Okay, so you asked for something right now. Oh, I've got all the pictures saved. I don't lame the limey. I didn't um I don't wasn't able to save the new ones. Um because it's all like one collage of them. Oh, don't send it to him? Yeah. If he if he doesn't ask for anything, I'm not going to send him anything. And I don't think he's going to. He would have asked for something by now. Nope. Hey, I have got the book all stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. Pardon, Mom? Uh, uh, son, I have got the book all stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey. Okay, 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 Mom. And did you have it taped for Connor? Yeah, I taped up the cars. Okay, so none of, none of, none of the money cannot fell out of the book, right? No, it shouldn't fall out of there. It's in there pretty good. Okay. Okay, you do it perfect. Perfectly, right? Yeah, as good as I can. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. And you said you don't have an envelope to drop the, the book in, right? I, I have a little box that I can put it in, yeah. Okay, um, do you have an old t-shirt there? Uh, I got some old uh, dust rags I could put in there. Do we have an old T-shirt where you could have where you could put the book in the T-shirt and you fold it and you tape uh, it and you put it in the back? Uh, you know, I think I got some of Harold's old shirts lying around somewhere. Let me let me go check one, okay? Okay, take your time, Mom. Okay, darling. chat why me is sending me pictures of women's lingerie
All right, I found an old T-shirt here. It's uh, it's okay. uh, it's an old Notre Dame T-shirt. Okay, mom, what you doing now, mommy? Put the book in the middle of the T-shirt and fold it pretty gently and nice, and you then you tape it, and then you put it in the little box. Okay. Wrap it up in the shirt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got it all put in the shirt. And let me put it in the box here. Okay. All right, what do I do now, darling? Okay, you put it in the box? Yeah, it's in the box. Okay, okay, you put it in the box. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to provide you with the agent name and address. We are going to have it mailed up tomorrow at the UPS. You want to oh. overnight, you want to overnight mail. Overnight, overnight. mail. All right, let me write that down so I don't forget. Uh, overnight mail. Express. Overnight uh, Express. Overnight, overnight Express mail. Express mail. Overnight Express mail. Okay, I wrote that down. Do our drop off. No one have to sign for it. No. No signage. Drop off. Right, do our drop off. Do our job off. No one have to sign for it. Okay. All right. I got that written down. Okay. You ready for the? You ready for the agent name and address? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, I can hear you, darling. Sorry about that. Yes, I can hear you now.
that her information, that is her name and that is her address. That's where that's where Express mail door drop off. No one have to sign for it, and you need a guarantee package. All right. Okay, guaranteed. Do I need to insure it at all? Yes, you need to. You need to insure. It. Okay. All right. Let me write that down. In insure package. Insure package. Okay, I got it. Right, and if they ask you, if they ask you what inside of that package, you just let them know for time safety. It's just some paperwork. You just having them send to your friend and wife. You don't need right. to tell them your business, so no one could know what inside of it. All right, you don't okay. need to share your business to no one, so no one could have their eyes on you, ma'am, or have you as a target. Remember, you're doing your personal business, and you are a big lady. You don't need to tell no one your business so no one could have their eyes in your business or try to stick their nose in your business or know what you are doing, all right? All right, yeah. The, the last person who stuck his nose in my business, well, <laughs> he lost his nose. <laughs> right, Mom. That's right. So you're doing your personal business. Anyone ask you what inside of that package, just let them know. It's some paper, it's some documents or some paper you send in to your friends. You don't need oh. to tell them that it's, you don't need to tell them that's money inside of the package. All right? Okay. Right. You just let them know it's some, it's some paper work I'm sending to one of my friends of mine and it's done. And you need the package to be insured and you need no. an overnight. You need an overnight express mail, door drop off, no one has to sign for it. And you okay. pay for it and you wait for your receipt and you make it home. Okay, and you that call sounds me. Okay. That sounds good. And what's the time you normally wake up in the morning, ma'am? No, I, I usually get up around 7 a.m. and uh, I have my coffee and read the newspaper. Uh, uh, sometimes I, I like to flick the bean vehemently, and uh, oh, uh, sometimes I go out for coffee with my friend Mo, but not tomorrow, though. It's kind of cold outside, so um, it's just going to be me tomorrow. I usually get up around 7, yeah. Right, 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 right. And what is your dog name? I have a oh. dog name. His name is Samo, Big Samo. That's my dog name, Big Samo. Well, that's a beautiful name, darling. My, my dog's name is, is Violet. Pardon? My dog's name is Violet. Oh, Violet. Yes. Okay, that's a nice name. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. She's a, she's a good girl. She's a big girl. She thinks she's a lap dog, but, uh, but uh, she's a good girl. And what's um and what and what's the cat name, Mom? Uh, the cat's name is Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, yeah. Okay, that's a nice, beautiful name. I love that name. Oh, thank you. You are just so sweet. I could just kiss you up thank and down. You, you are so sweet. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. I told you, you remind me of my mom and. I appreciate talking with you. I can't wait to see you. All right? People like you, let our country be better, Mom. Just put oh. your money to good use. Please, I'm begging you. All right? Oh, I want to take the time out to say to you, congratulations once more, and welcome on board. All right? And may the Lord continue to bless you and blessing you and blessing you. All right? All right. Thank you so much, darling. It has been a pleasure talking to you, and... And I can't wait to uh, to see you tomorrow. Uh, uh, give you a yes, big I hug. Can't wait a... to see you. I can't wait to see you also, Mom. I can't wait to see you also. All oh, right. Yeah, I'm going to give you a big, a big hug and a blumpkin and a kiss on the cheek. Yeah, I cannot wait.
Yes, I can't wait to see you also to let you put a smile on your face and let you gloom in like the Guardian and let you sing like a Cinderella and moonwalking like a Michael Jackson, what you never done before. Oh my, hee hoo. Is that what the Michael Jackson always said? Hee hoo. <laughs> yes, you will be moonwalking like a Michael Jackson and singing like a Cinderella and jumping like a and glooming like the flowers in your garden. Oh my lord, oh my lord, I cannot wait, darling, I cannot wait. Just keep your business to yourself, man, private and confidential. And nothing cannot go wrong, and I promise you that there is nothing in this place of earth could stop you from receiving your price here, alright? All right, I trust. I'm putting my trust in you, darling. Don't let me down now. I, I, will, I will never let you down, Mom. I sh Remember I told you, you remind, you remind me my mom. I take you my mom. I will never let you down, and I will never pull your legs. All right, Mom? I have uh, your back. 100% uh, uh, All right, all right. All right, and what's the time you need me to call you tomorrow, Mom? Oh, I would maybe call around, um, uh, oh, let's see here. Maybe around 9, 9 in the morning by the time the bank opens at 8. So by the time I, or excuse me, the, the, the UPS opens at 8. So by the time I get down there and, and get it all sent off and get back home, and around, around 9 sounds about right. So you would call me around 9, or I call you around 9. Which one? Uh, you can give me a call, sweetheart. That'd be fine. Okay, okay, Mom. No problem, Mom. I will do that. And do you have any, do you have any plans for tomorrow differently? Do you have any friends coming over? Do you have any family coming over? No, uh, not, not tomorrow. I was going to do some baking tomorrow. I make, uh... Uh, I make uh, a very special loaf of bread from Dildo. It's, uh, it's uh, a recipe that's been handed down in my family from generation to generation. And uh, it's so soft. It just, it just melts in your mouth. It's so good. Right, 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 right. So you're not going to bother do the bacon? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Not. Now with all this money coming my way, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, uh, oh man, it's going to be an exciting day tomorrow, I tell you, I tell I you. Know, I know it's going to, I, I know it will be an amazing day tomorrow, and it will be a muscularous day tomorrow, which you will never expect in your whole entire life. This is a blessing tomorrow, which you will never expect. Okay, yeah, a blessing, absolutely. It's going to be a muscularous day for you tomorrow, Mom. Amazing day for you tomorrow. Yes, a muscularous day. It will be something. And what were your occupations before you retire, Mom? Oh, sweetheart, I, I was a secretary for a law firm. Yeah. Are there... I, was, I, I was a secretary in a law office for, for lawyers. Uh, I did that for almost 35 years. Okay, okay, that's wonderful, that was great. And, and you just live by yourself with, with, with your dog and your kid, that Sarah and that Violet. Yeah, just me and Sarah and Violet, and, uh, oh, that's all I need in my old age, uh, ever since Harold died, uh. It's, it's been lonely, but I get by from day to day. Right, that's the reason why I told you, just do some good investment with your money, ma'am, because the more investment you do, the less tax you pay. All right? Yeah, that, that makes sense. I, I'm not very good with the finances, but I, I, I trust your word. I, I, I know you won't let me down. No, I won't let you down, ma'am. I told you I have your back. Once you listen to me and do what I say, nothing cannot go wrong, 
and any question you want to ask me, don't be afraid to ask me any question. I hear for you. Any question, don't be afraid to ask me, alright? Oh, okay. I have a question for you, sweetheart. Yes, mom, go ahead. Do you ever get that not-so-fresh feeling inside? Pardon, mom? Like, do you ever get that not-so-fresh feeling inside? Yes, mom. Always, sometimes. Oh, I understand. I understand. I have a good cream for that if you ever want to borrow it. Right. When I get over there, you have a cream for that? Yeah, I that will rub... I will rub you up and down with cream, head to toe. Just cream all over you. Cream on your face. Cream on your chest. I will just cream, cream, cream. That will be nice, mom. I never, I long for it as I never get one of those. And that sounds wonderful, dear. Yes, mom, that will be lovely. All right. All right, well, yes, sweetheart, I'm getting ready to go to bed. I'm going to masturbate vehemently oh. and, then, and then head to bed, okay? Okay, okay, honey. So we, you have a wonderful night and you have a great night. You pray for me, I pray for you, honey. All right. Okay, I will pray for you and uh, and I, I will I will squirt right across the room for you too. Okay, honey. Me too. All, All right. right. All right. I love you, son. I love you. I love you, mom. I talk to you tomorrow. All right, mom. Okay. You have a blessed day. You have a blessed night, Mom, and you have a wonderful night. Uh-huh. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Congratulations once more. God bless you. I talk to you tomorrow. I can't wait to see you. Bye-bye now. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Mom. We got a mule. Let me write this in the books. All right. Yeah, he was easy to get a mule out of. He was just, boom, giving it up. Then let me get this information sent. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, scammer name. Eddie Coleman. That number came from Bull a couple nights ago. I make sure I got this right. Patrick E. Star, Pineapple Under the Sea. Bingo.
All right, chat. It was a slow start to the night, but we persisted. And look what happened. Look what happened. Oh, yes. Lover Boy is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. But first, I think I'm going to take just a couple minutes break. Um, I want to throw... What am I going to eat? I am I am really freaking hungry. Um, same guy that calls Bull Big Papa. No, it's someone different. The Big Papa people. The Big Papa people? Big Papa people. Try saying that. It's kind of fun to say, Big Papa people. Um... They are uh, Indian or Pakistani, one of the two. Uh, this was uh, full-blown Jamaican. We are going to douse him in cream tomorrow. Oh, yes. That one was too easy. That one was too easy. That would be a good scammer if you're like mentoring a new scam baiter or something on PCH scams. Um, that would be a good one. That would be a good one to teach people with. Oh, if you didn't notice, my earbuds died. I didn't realize how good the sound out of those earbuds was until I have to flip over to these. All right, chat, give me just a couple minutes. Probably won't even be five. Um, it's going to stretch for a minute. Grab, probably should grab another Mountain Dew. And eh, it's 1230. That's debatable. Um, and figure out something to eat. It might be Wendy's Chili. It might be Wendy's Chili. All right, hold the phone. Literally, hold the phone.
Yo. All right, who wants to know? Who wants to know what I'm eating tonight? Everybody always wants to know what I'm eating. I don't need your love. I don't want your love. It is not ravioli. I do have some wicked ravioli in the freezer. It is not chili, nor hot beef. Any other guesses? Any other guesses? It's it's ethnic. I forgot I had this in the freezer. Butter chicken. That sounds good. Curry? No, I don't do curry. That's too hot. Too hot. All right, I'll break it down even further. It's Mexican. Oh, Bo, bait watcher. Look at, look at y'all. Yeah, it's reflecting. Amy's is good shit. It's the, you know, all organic and uh, I believe it's even vegan vegan stuff but uh oh it's so good it's so expensive too but it's so good i've never had anything bad from amy's never everything i've tried of theirs so good All right, my microwave will be done in a minute or two. We're going to let that finish. They have pizza rolls? Amy's has pizza rolls? I got to try those. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, this smells so good. I wish you could smell this chat. I had like a... A black bean enchilada uh, last time of theirs. Oh, it's so good. There's the microwave. Let me pop it out one sec. I've never seen their pizza rolls for sale anywhere. Walmart has a big selection of Amy's stuff, surprisingly. My, my, my two local grocery stores, which are good stores, we have a High V and a Super Saver. Uh, High V likes to carry a lot of, uh, what do you call them, niche products and stuff like that. Does not carry any Amy stuff. I cannot believe it. But Walmart does. The last time I had Indian food, curry chicken, God, this must have been 20-some uh, years ago. Uh, me and a buddy went out to eat at some Indian restaurant. Really good. So good. It was so hot, though. My eyes were just, I was bawling, literally. It was so hot. It was snot running out of my nose. But I couldn't stop eating it because it was so good. 
It was so good. No, there's no targets around. The nearest target's like uh, two hours away. When Walmart came into this town, it drove everybody out, except the grocery stores. We used to have a Woolworths. Damn it. I loved Woolworths. We had a Kmart. We had a Pomida. Does anybody remember Pomida? Pomida was nice. I mean, it wasn't upscale or anything, but they had a lot of good stuff in there. Kmart's in Australia now. Woolworth was great. They had the the soda. Uh, what the hell? Oh my God! Word. Um, the little deli soda deli thing in the back. Little checkered checkered floor. Oh, it was so good. It was so cool. So many memories. Yeah, old-fashioned soda fountain, yep. There's still a few Kmarts left in the U.S. I don't even have a website yet, too, don't they? Yeah, Kmart's still got a... Kmart's still got a website, and there's still a few stores in the U.S. So it has the Woolworths logo on the ground at the entry, but now it's a pawn shop. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> wow, they carry Reebok? Look at those. Look at those trendy, snazzy Reebok shoes they got on the front page, huh? Wow, surprised they're not Velcro. DeWalt? They carry DeWalt? No shot. Oh my god, do they have computers? Five grand for an Asus notebook? What? It's got a Ryzen 9 in it. 32 gig of RAM, 2 terabyte. Twenty four hundred for an eighty five inch QLED smart TV. Two grand for a Lenovo Legion gaming laptop, Ryzen five, sixteen gig of memory. Yo, they sell graphics cards? Oh, this not sold by them. Oh, it's all third parties. Okay, sold by Global Discount Score, sold by Techcom Shop. I was like, there's no way Kmart carries graphics cards. No shot. Okay, it's all third party stuff. Uh, let me run to Kmart and pick up a 4070 Ti. Look at this. Ridiculous.
Ryzen 9. What's it got for a graphics card in it? Uh, it's got a 4090 in it? Oh, I see why. It's got that little, that little second touch panel on it. See that thing? That's actually another display. Those are actually pretty sweet. Oh, look at the keyboard. Look at the number pad. It looks like, like it's flat. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let's price compare this. I mean, granted, it does have a, a Ryzen 9 and a 4090 in it, but that does seem really ridiculously priced for a gaming laptop. Yeah, considering Asus sells it for 3500 it's a year-old laptop. You get it used on eBay for two grand. I love that second little monitor though. God, I love that. No shot. You can get it for $1,800. It's only got a one terabyte drive in it. On Amazon? Really? 165 hertz screen? Damn. That really is a gaming laptop. But you're paying more for the Asus name, too. OEMs are always overpriced for what they are. It's probably got a bunch of bloatware on it. No, I would never come anywhere near Alienware. That shit's so proprietary. Don't. I hope you don't ever plan on upgrading your Alienware because you can't. Maybe you can get some new RAM, but that's about it. Yo, Knight Rider, what's up? USB powered video signal extra monitor from a business going out for five bucks? Dude, I've got one of those little USB monitors. They're pretty cool. Um, it doesn't run the greatest. It doesn't cooperate very nicely with my system. Alienware used to be good when it was a Ma and Pa owned brand. And then Dell bought it and killed it. Just killed it. Alienware used to be the shit until Dell bought it. Yeah, pre Dell, Alienware was uh was some good shit.
All right, chat. You know what time it is. Time to poop. Shall we wake up an African? Should we wake up an African? This is going to be good. I don't have a lot to talk about him with. Talk about him. Talk to him about. But I definitely want to bring up the uh, the dead brother of Dr. CB. Ask yourself today, have you woken up an African? Got Africa? Oh, I have an eight ball. Hold on, does my eight ball still work? You may rely on it. My God, my eight ball still works. I don't even know what bot is running that, but whatever bot it is, it's probably the one that's still doing the shout outs that I want to get rid of. Oh, shit. Really quick. Really quick. Really quick. This guy wants a screenshot of the card we bought. Oh, is it too big? Hold on. No. Why is it not sending? Oh, wait, is it a JFIF or whatever? Let's see, is it a... No, it's a JPEG. Let's try this one. There, that one went through. That'll keep him busy. Should I get out of bed and cook some bacon? Yes, definitely. Good answer, 8-Ball. All right, chat. Let's hop back in the plane. We're going from Jamaica back to Africa. Gambit set of picks. Oh, I think we have a uh Yeah, we got a computer chat one if you want to pop it in there. Banana no way. Banana no way. Banana. Banana no way. Bana no way, banana. Oh, nice, Microsoft. Cool.
Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's call our lover boy. Come on. Hello, good morning. Mm -hmm. How are you? Okay. How are you everything? Oh, I'm I'm doing all right, I guess. Uh now just get working through the chemo and then trying to get better and back up on my feet and uh well, it, it's tough, but I'm I'm getting by. How have you been? We haven't talked for a while, love. Yeah. I've been okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So, um, I, I have something, um, I wanted to share with you. Um, my, my lawyer, you know, Mitch, um, he was doing some research and, uh, well, he, I'll just be honest with you, sweetheart. Um, uh, Dr. CB's brother is dead. Uh, <clears throat> it's not, because they, they have a lot of people, you know. Well, but, but even in the emails, they said it was his brother, and uh, his brother was a preacher. It's not just one brother. It's not just one brother I had. And that's like a family business. You see the emails are wrong. Well, how many brothers does he have? I don't know. I don't know. But you know there's more than one. Yeah, more than one. Right. Huh? Okay. Very good. Hello? Yes, I'm here. You're good, no? I'm okay, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I'd say good. Uh, I don't know what to believe anymore. I had that, uh, that publisher's clearinghouse person that took $10,000 from me and then, uh, well, the, the Dr. Seabee's account, uh, I tried sending them the money, and, uh, it came out to, uh, it came out that their account is under investigation for fraudulent activity, um, so, uh, I'm getting all that money returned back to me, and, uh, I just don't know what to believe anymore. <sighs> There's no problem. You give back the money, okay? Yeah, I can have a good bank. They'll get it back for me. Uh, uh, right. it'll, it'll take a little time, but, but they'll get it back for me. Okay. Hello? Uh, I'm here. I always, okay. feel, I always feel so bad for waking you up, but I, I don't know what else time to call with my, you know, um, during in the hospital during the day and. Uh, do you stay all day in the hospital? 
Yeah, that's cancer for you. Why would you stay all day in the hospital? I should just move into the hospital. <laughs> It's no problem. It's okay. So when are you coming down here? Well, uh, as soon as I'm done with the chemo and uh, I gotta get my How passport yet. Many? I will many have many. a. I got about twelve sessions left. Hmm. Got twelve sessions, and uh, I'm waiting on my passport as well. I got that submitted and. Oh, that can take up to a month. So there's that. And, uh. Yeah. What's the, what's the weather like over there? I'll need to know how to dress. It's okay, it's cold. It's cold? Yeah, it's cold here too. That's okay. When you're ready, let me know. I certainly will. I certainly will. Okay. I feel good. I feel good. You can hear the kids in the background. Yeah. It'll be a... I don't know how my body will handle the trip, but uh, we'll sure give it a shot. And um, so, what kind of do they have like hospitals and stuff over there? If something would happen to me, is there some place I can go? Or what? Something can happen. What? Well, if something would happen with my cancer and my health and everything while I'm over there, is there a good hospital around, or what's what's that like? And there are good hospitals around. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, Very yeah. Good. What about your family? What about my family? Mm. Yes. Well, um, I haven't really told them, and you know Patrick, or well, if I'd tell Patrick, I'm sure he'd get all huffy about it. Um, so I'm, I'm probably not going to tell them that I'm going over there uh, until probably a, a day or two before I leave, so they, uh, so they won't try to stop me or something. Uh, uh, personally, I don't think it's any of their business at this point, but... Uh, He's worried about his mama, and I, I guess I understand that. Okay. So, like, one month. What month are we, are we talking about? Oh, well, let's see. We just started March. It'll, it'll probably be early April, early to mid-April. Problem. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll let you know everything when my passport gets here, and, uh, yeah, and get everything squared away. Let me see here. I got my computer up. I was gonna look at, uh, I was gonna look at how much it costs to fly over there. Let's see here. Where to? Nairobi, Kenya, all airports. Now I just want flights leaving from St. Louis, going to Nairobi. We'll make it in April. 
Maybe stay for a couple weeks. Search. One traveler. Okay. Search. Oh, well, that's not too bad. About one, about $1,500 for the trip. Round trip. That's just, uh, let's see, one, is that round trip, I think? Oh, but then they get more expensive, closer to 4000 hmm. Round trip per traveler. Close for power. Yep, it's anywhere from... Fifteen hundred to four thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah. And I can, uh, I can stay at your place, right? Or do I need to get a hotel? Yeah, we need to get a hotel. Oh, I'll need a hotel too, okay. Is there, uh, is there any hotels you recommend there? I, I, I really don't know anything about the hotels over there. Uh, they, uh, they have uh, um, apartments, apartments where you can pay for a day. Oh, that sounds nice. You can check it online. Yeah, let me, let me look here. Packages. One traveler. There are no available properties for your dates. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me change the dates. There's nothing available. There is no. Okay, it's big. Oh, goodness. This is not working for me here. Come on now. Select checkout date. There we go. Oh my. How are the kids? I can hear them in the background. Okay. That's good. Oh, here we go. Oh, they have Best Western. Bar Hotel. Oh, Lantern Service Departments. Oh, these look nice. So would you come and stay with me while I'm uh while I'm down there or yeah, of Oh, this one's got a pool and a hot tub.
But first, when you come, you come to where I am with a taxi and come and pick me. Oh, absolutely, sweetheart. I, I don't know how to get around there. I need somebody to show me around. Yeah, it's very easy. You just need to book a taxi from where you're at. Then taxi will just drive you down. It's simple. It's simple. Free Wi-Fi. Free parking. Mm -hmm. Sleeps too. Oh, I'm, I'm just looking at the rooms in the apartments. One king bed. That'll be enough room for us. What's the name of the area? You saw that? Uh, this is, uh, called the Bliss Haven Apartments. Okay. Nairobi? Yeah, in Nairobi... Nairobi City? Westlands, it says? Okay, Westland, okay. Westland, I think it's inside... Kinimali... Kinimali side or something. Luxury hotel connected to a shopping center. Oh my goodness. We'll get to do some shopping. Yeah. I can get you that watch you wanted. You can get what? I can get you that watch you always wanted. Okay. No, nice. So is, is this very far from you? Is, is there anything closer to you? Um, let me check the Garden City Mall. Hello? Yes, I'm here, darling. Let me check the Garden City Mall. Garden City. Garden City. Let me see if it's in here. No, I'm looking. I don't see it yet. Garden City Mall. Mall. Here. Oh, it's a mall. Is that like a shopping mall? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here's Garden's Executive Suites. Okay. You put a mall. Garden City Mall. All right, let me look for that. Garden City Mall. Nairobi, Kenya. Kenya's first integrated residential retail and office development. International shopping mall, over 400 apartments, duplexes, family villas, Uh, worth a visit. Horrible experience on checkout. Samia.
happens like every day when you see the family. We had issues of hot water, no cable TV, no internet. I'm here, darling. I'm I'm just looking up stuff on the Garden City Mall. Do you live in, uh, do you live in any of the villages around the Garden City Mall? Yeah. Well, I'm looking at the map. There's like, uh, no, no go Mongo Village, Kisumu, Nando Go Village. No, no, no. My, I'm, I live in Maram. Maram? Miram. 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 How do you spell that? I'm just trying to find it, see how close it is. Oh, Mirama? M I R E M A? Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice and close. Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I'm just getting caught up and looking at the map and all the stuff in the mall. It's almost like I'm there already. So what are you, uh, what are you doing this weekend? You got any plans? Not really. What happened? No, nothing. I was what going... What you ask? Oh, I was just being conversational, dear. Being what? Conversational. I, I was just talking, that's all. Okay. I've been working on a quilt. Uh, I'm going to do some more quilting today, or, or, well, tomorrow, I guess. And, uh, oh, when we got church on Sunday, and, uh, we got a bake sale coming up at the church. And, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to Pastor Limey's sermon this Sunday. Okay, it's 
So did you see the place? I did see it. It looks really nice. Uh, I, I like having the shopping and everything right there. Okay, I can't wait to see you. Well, I can't wait to see you either, darling. It's It's been so long. It's been so long. Have we, see, have we met before? No, not since we met, but uh, we've been waiting for a long time for this. Okay, I see. Yeah. Garden City Gardens. Free Wi Fi, pool, laundry. No elevator. Yeah, no elevator. Just the escalator. No, an escalator? That's all right. I don't, I don't do very well with stairs. Yeah. But your, your hotels and apartments, they have a little bit of because they have tall buildings. <laughs> Is the Garden City Mall very tall? No, that's why there's no elevator, it's not tall. Oh, okay. Just a normal bit. Let me see. Yeah. Please, I want to pay my rent. I want to pay my rent, and it's very important. Because I'll be driving outside the house. It's end of the month. If, uh, if you can just help me, even if it's $100, then I'll pay my rent. Well... Oh, okay. Um, you said like just a hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, how how much is one, your one fifty? Or one fifty. My rent is like about my rent is like about uh, thirty thousand shillings. It's more than hundred dollars, but I will I will try to look for somewhere else to get the remaining one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, how, how did you want me to send that? Babe, uh, I don't know. The way is going to be more easier for you. Maybe you can go to the store and get me a card. It's going to be more easier than providing some... Uh, do you understand? Well, does your landlord take cards? No, 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 no. When, when I get the card, I trade it, so I get, I get cash out, out of it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of card then? Just what's a good is okay. Razor, Razor. Is okay. Razor go. Let let me write this down, sweetheart, okay? Well please make sure this time is it's a it's a real card, okay? Oh okay, uh I, I I've never sent a fake card. Um Maybe all the cards you sent I could not it's not good. I could not get it. Do you understand? Even the one you said you buy you bought on Amazon. It didn't come. 
So that's what I'm saying. You should go physically to the store, get the card, you scratch it gently, and send it to me. That's all. Please don't send me a card that I cannot use. Please, if not. Okay. It's so heartbreaking when you send cards that I cannot use. It's so heartbreaking. Okay, uh, I can go to the store tomorrow and, and look and see if they got the Razor Gold card. It's not just that card. If they don't have that one, you can you can get uh, iTunes or Steam Wallet, but not Apple Card. iTunes. Mm. Hold on, let me write this down. iTunes. Steam. I've never really heard of any of these, so I gotta write them down. Why not? You can check them online. You can check each or one of the cards online, so you know what it is. Yeah, I'll yeah. take a I'll take a look and, and look at them and see. Okay. You take a look right now while we're at the phone. Oh. Please don't disappoint me. Oh, okay. Razor Gold. Oh, okay. It's like black and green, and it's got like a coin thing on it. Yeah. Uh, Razor Gold. Let's see. They said Steam a Wallet Card. Steam, okay. Oh, this looks like video games. Mm, it's a video game card. The old video game card. Music box. Okay, and then you said iTunes. Oh, okay, this one's got a big apple, like a black apple on it. Mm, I can This card is blue. The color of the card is blue, light blue. Oh, it's blue, okay, there's some of them that are white. And then there's the blue ones. Okay, well, I will look tomorrow at the store. Promise? I will, I promise, sweetheart, I promise. It's no problem. You can, you can, you can get for 100, or 100, 150, okay? Like, you get it separately. 100, you get a 100, you get a 50. Or you get a 100, 100. 100. So it's gonna be enough for me to at least just pay the rent. It's just the rent. Because we pay every month. Okay. Should I expect it? Did you say what time? In the morning. 
Yeah. yeah, I'll get up. Uh, I might sleep in a little bit later tomorrow since I'm up kind of late tonight to call you. Um, so I'll probably get out in about around 10 a.m. And, uh, so it'll probably take a little bit of time if I can find it. Uh, maybe no, it's not going to be not going to be difficult to find. Just go to the nearest Walmart around you. Oh, okay. The nearest Walmart around you, you can get it there. Well, uh, I'll probably be around the, uh, the noon hour by the time I get over to the Walmart. It's a little ways away. And then, uh, then get back to you. I hope so on you, please. Babe? I'm here, sweetheart. Did you hear what I said? Uh, it kind of cut out a little bit. What did you say? I said my hopes on you, please. Well, I, I appreciate that, darling. I don't want to let you down. Yes, please. I... If I, if I don't stay here, I'll be sent out of the house, and then there's no how I could survive. How do you, um, how do you normally pay it without the gift cards and stuff? Like I said, I've not been here. Uh, for a long while, you know. So, my 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 cousin brother helps me to pay, but now I have to pay, you know. Oh, okay. Because he he walks in the gym, and uh, but for me, I don't have a job right now. It's difficult to get a job here because, you know, uh, it's just it's still the same in African country. Is it uh, that there's just not a lot of jobs available, or...? Uh... Mm, you know, the jobs available, is the, the, the men, they do it. And then, because it's a gym work, that was why he got it, because it's a gym expert. Shut up! He got it, and then, so and for me, I, I don't, I don't do gym, and then it's not that I don't go to gym, but I don't know about it. So there's a lesser job. You have to know how to speak the language, Swahili. Oh yeah. Hello? I'm here. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, well, you're always quiet. Why? I'm just listening, sweetheart. Okay. So, are you promising you're going to do that? I promise. I promise. I really don't need, don't need you to film it, babe. You want me to film it? I said I, I don't want you to fail me. Fail. Oh, you don't want me to fail you? Oh, okay. Well, I'm trying my darndest, sweetheart. I really am. I, I know you're trying. But please, just prove to me how how real you are. Because I'm confused sometimes. For real. Hello? Yes, I'm here. I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, 
I want to help you, and I, I, I want to be there for you, and I don't know why all these cards are having all these problems. I, I just feel like I'm getting scammed at all the stores and everywhere now. I, I don't know who to trust or what to do. But when you see something, you know what you see, so you don't have to just come with what you, uh, what you go to get yourself. Except you don't see that thing. So what do you think? Because me, I don't know what to leave as well. I guess maybe this is the challenge of a of a long distance relationship. That's right. That's right. But you need you you are the one who needs to make me believe all this. Really, I really need your help. Normally, I really need your help, and I want you to come along here, at least for me to see you in person. Let me, let me, I, 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 I've come a long way whereby I see things, they look like they are real and they are not, and it's so funny how I don't have that luck. You are the first white woman I've, I've ever seen spoke with or, you know, want to be with. Too good. Yeah, well, um, I'm, I'm here. I suppose there's there's really no white women in your area, huh? <laughs> there is none. How, how would they be? There is. They read white women who come for tourism and all that. So. There are a lot of white people. Uh, I'm saying, have your own personal, like somebody who who, who is your, your girlfriend or your your wife to be or something like that. Yeah, I understand. Uh, Shut. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what it's like over there. Uh, I, I'm not going to pretend that I know know what it's like over there. Uh, I know it. It sounds like a. It sounds like it's hard to make a living, and uh, and I, I, well, I admit there's a lot of people in America that struggle as well. Um, so it it's hard in a lot of places. All right. It's very sad in a lot of places. It's quite expensive here. That's the problem. The cost of living here is quite expensive for nice environment. Oh, it's it's expensive over here too, darling. Did uh, do you know how much my mortgage payment a month was? How much? It was. One thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars, and it's just a small house. Really? Yeah, it's not cheap. It's not. You finished paying it off? Yeah, I sure did. Uh, me and Harold got it paid off. Uh, uh, short, shortly after he died, we had we finished it off. Uh, we got it finished off. So. Harold, okay. Your husband? Yes, my, my, my late husband. Okay. Okay. And that was, uh, that was many moons ago. Uh, he passed away. Oh, let's see, we're in 2024 now. It was around 2012, so it's, oh, it's coming up on 12 years now. Been a long time. Yeah, it's just been me for a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I believe you. Well, until I see you, I'll believe you more. Well, uh, as the saying goes, seeing is believing. <laughs> You laughed for the first time. 
all my stars. You just... You make me feel good inside, and I think that's why I'm so attracted to you. Yeah, sure. There's no problem. I keep my finger crossed, and I hope to die. Well, we don't want you dying, sweetheart. We don't want you dying. Yeah, I said, I keep my finger crossed, and I hope to die. It's not that I want to die. I know. It's just a saying. It's, I'm just giving yeah, you a hard it's time. Just a yeah, it's okay. I understand. Yeah, you really give me a hard time, you know? In, a, in America, yeah. we call that busting your butt. But <sighs> busting my butt, you give me a hard time, seriously. And I feel, is this woman, is she playing games or what? I don't know. What do I want to believe? No, I, I don't play games, sweetheart. The only game I ever played was Monopoly. Monopoly. Monopoly? Yeah, it's a board game, uh... You, you buy these properties and you sell them and you collect rent and you got to try to drive everybody else bankrupt. You got to try to get all their money. It's an old board game. Okay. I want to ask you something. Is Goggle Voice uh, a phone provider in America? Is Goggle Voice a phone provider in America? Uh, I've never heard of Goggle Voice. Really? Yeah. What, what phone provider are you making use of? I'm with Verizon Prepaid. What? Verizon Prepaid. It's their. It's Verizon's prepaid service. Okay, Verizon. Where did you buy the car? Where did you buy the SIM part? I got it at Walmart. So you can go there, you can get the cards from the Walmart, where you get the SIM card. Yeah, you buy the phone, and then uh, you call, and you activate it. It's got the card or whatever already in the phone. And then it's it's all squared away. I need an iPhone as well. I need an iPhone. You need an iPhone? iPhone? Yeah, 14, 12 months or 15, 12 months. I think you can get it as a loan from Amazon. You can be paying little by little. But they will oh, send I... you the phone. Yeah. You can oh, get I... it from Amazon. Yeah, you're paying like about maybe $20 in a week or so. And she paid off. Is that, uh, is that a nice phone? Is it an expensive phone? You don't know an iPhone? I've heard of an iPhone, but I've never had one. Uh, I think that's the one all the kids have, is the iPhones. Yeah, the iPhones. That's what I'm saying. The iPhone. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Oh? Yeah. You really sound well, young. I sound young? Oh, darling, bless your heart. I just have a, a high-pitched voice, I guess. Hmm. Let me, like I'm on my computer, let me look at an iPhone here. 15 Pro, Pro Max, is that what you called it? Yes, yeah, exactly. Oh my yeah. goodness, that's a thousand dollar phone. Yeah, it's a very good phone. Do you need one that expensive? 
What? Do you need one that expensive? My phone yeah, only cost me $150. Which one? I have a What's Samsung phone. Samsung? What yeah. Samsung is that? Oh, let me see. Oh, let me find the receipt here. It says it's a, a Galaxy A15. Galaxy A15? Yeah. You have it already? Or you see it online? That's the one I'm talking on. You go for a lesser iPhone. There is 14, there is 13. Don't like um, Samsung. If I if I want to use Samsung, I want to use a higher grade. I used A20 before. A20. I mean, I don't I don't need anything too fancy. I I just use it for my my phone calls and uh, the the text messages what? and stuff. What kind of phone you use? So how are you going to get the Samsung to me? No, I'm saying I have the Samsung phone. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see. Or you can check for a lesser iPhone. Let me see here. Let me see here. Oh, let's see, the, an Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. No, oh, let's see, this costs around uh, $800. Yeah, the, it says a, a 14 Pro Max. Yes. That's better. It's not too expensive. Well, I mean, to me it seems expensive, but what do I know? I, I don't know much about phones. Get it as a gift for me when you're coming. Don't send it. Just bring it with you, is that what you're saying? Or bring it with me, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so... I'm just so want to, wanting to see you, but it's okay. If it's God's wish, let it be. If it's not, it's okay. Well, God, uh, we never know what God has in store for us, be it good or bad, but uh, it, it's all God's will, and we, uh, we have to learn to accept it. Exactly. That's right. That's why I'm always accepting it. Just feel it's the journey of life. Whether good or bad, for real. But the most important thing you need to do for me right now is to please send me the money, okay? So I can pay my rent. It's very important. Okay. I don't All want right. to sleep outside. It's so, it's so cold. Sweetheart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look tomorrow, okay? I'll look for the card, okay? Alright, sweetheart. 
completely. I promise. I promise. Okay, sweetie. There's no problem. I'll just I put my hopes and I'll wait. Okay? Hold on, somebody I think someone is at the door. Okay. Yes. What do you want to know? Do you really love me? I do. I do love you, darling. I, but I'm not going to lie. I hate it when we fight. I hate arguing, and I hate yelling, and I hate anger. Harold was such a kind and gentle man, and he really spoiled me. I understand. I'm going to be the same way. The only problem I'm having right now is because I'm not buffed up, I'm not cashed up. That's the only problem. Sometimes I get worried. So you get me activated. Do you understand? Well, I, I don't understand how not being cashed up makes you angry. Babe, I need to pay my bills. That's the most important thing. Do you get Right. That's the but, only worries I have. But getting angry is not going to pay the bills. It's true, I know. It's not. You know how people treat you when you're around people and you cannot meet up with your bills? It's quite difficult and embarrassing. Oh, it's very embarrassing, darling. I was... I didn't have a lot growing up. My, my family was poor and... And my parents worked to the bone to provide for us, but, um, but it's I always... Okay. I'm just trying to look for green sparks. It's, it's the same here, you know. Nothing was rosy at all. This is why I'm just trying to meet up, so I could have a better life. You get me? Oh, I understand. We we all want a better life. Uh, I think everybody wants wants to live a good life, a, a good uh, life where they're provided for and taken care of. And and uh, you know, I want to do my best to help provide and take care of you. All right, I believe. No problem. Well, darling, it, it's getting close to 2 a.m. here. Um, if I want to get up and do some shopping and, and look for this card in the morning, uh, I probably better be getting to All bed right. soon. All right, you go to So I get my, I get my day started. Yeah, and I will I will contact you tomorrow and uh, and get the card stuff to you. Well, uh, what was that? 
Hello? I'm here. Okay, I say you go to sleep so I get my day started, okay? So you can wake up early. All right, you have a good day, okay? All right, I will. All yeah, right. Good night. Thank you. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too, babe. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. All right. He was starting to make my skin crawl. Did we really have him on for like two hours? Have I been talking to that jackass for two hours? Holy shit. And all I really got out of that was, pay my rent, pay my rent. However, we missed a few things in there. Knight Rider had five biddies. Buffalo. Dude, I saw your gift bomb. Ten gifties. Yo, thank you, brother. Knight Rider had another five and another five and another five. Yo, Knight Rider. Thank you, soldier. Appreciate you. I think that gets us caught up. Yeah, pay rent, pay rent, pay rent. Get me an iPhone. I can't afford the rent, but man, I really want a brand new iPhone. Rave! Yo! Rave! Thank you for the hundred biddies! It felt like an hour. It felt more like an hour. But I guess it is two. And we called him shortly after 12, so... Um, yeah. Oh, scene of action is on? All right, cool. Well, chat. Oh, man. Uh, did Peckerwood leave a message? Should we call Michael Peterson? I got to get to bed pretty soon. And I was even going to hop on the Discord chat for a little bit. Um, it was Michael, Michael Peckerson that called. At 1.45 in the morning. Booty call. You know, I think we'll save him for tomorrow. I think we'll save him for tomorrow. Assuming I'm not sick as a dog tomorrow. I think, uh, oh my god, my food. I forgot about my food. Oh shit, I closed my... All right, there he is. <sighs> well, it was a good night. It started off slow, but ultimately it was good. How long have we been on? Six and a half hours. Holy shit. Holy shit. I called it at the beginning. It was going to be a late night. I called it at the beginning. I knew it was I knew it was gonna be late before we got a hold of Lover Boy. We even went later than when I was planning to call him, and it still woke his ass up. Jesus Christ. Uh, VP gloves is on. Go fuck yourself. Um Okay.
都给钱。Um. Yeah, I'm not sure about tomorrow. I would like to start doing Saturdays when I do stream on Saturdays. I would like to start start at like 5 p.m. Central Time, not start as late on the weekend. Um, but I'm not sure if we'll be on tomorrow or not. I'll let you know in Discord. Oh my God, Night Rider, Night Rider, you animal! Five. More biddies. Thank you, Knight Rider. Uh, if anybody's bored, I will probably be in Discord uh, voice chat in five, ten minutes. Um, let me get settled in there uh, and go, oh my god. Rave. Ten more biddies. Good lord. Thank you, Rave. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you for all the support tonight. All the biddies, all the subs. The f Do we have any follows? Let me look. I don't think we had any follows tonight. Oh, yeah, we did. It was, um. Where the hell was it? Yeah, Air Fuego. We did have a follow. Oh, my God. Thank you for the bits, the subs, the follows, the chat. Um. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You're way too good to me. I don't know why you're this damn good to me, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, so stay awesome. Stay well. Stay safe. Stay warm unless you're in Australia. I'm looking at you, Big Warwick and Charlie. Then stay cool. Stay you above all, chat. Oh, yeah, check out this raid. This dude is amazing. This dude is amazing. All right. Peace.